we invite our head of the department, Professor Pamela Singla, to accompany our esteemed dignitaries to the dais. Our chief guest, Honorable Director South Campus, University of Delhi, Professor Sri Prakash Singh. Our guest of honor, Ms. Anita Paul, Director, Pan Himalayan Grassroots Development Foundation. Ms. Ashita Mittal, Regional Representative, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, Central Asia. Mr. Kalyan Paul, Executive Director, Pan Himalayan Grassroots Development Foundation. Our special guest, President YWCA, Dr. Sakuntala David. Dean of Academics, Professor Ratnabali. Our dear section officer, Ms. Meena Sarma. Our dear non-teaching staff, Ms. Prem Lata. Very good afternoon to all. We, Soumya Vashish, Manindra Kumar, Kashika Yadav, and Shubham Soni welcome our esteemed dignitaries, the faculty, and the student fraternity of the Delhi School of Social Work as we celebrate the department's Platinum Jubilee on its 76th annual day. We are extremely honored to have this opportunity to welcome you all on this momentous day. This is a precious moment for all of us because aside from the fact that the function underlines our department's successful 76 years in its realm of excellence, this day is also going to witness the showcasing of talent that this department is proud of. Ma'am, Mino ma'am, please come on the dice. She is our department's council secretary. This Platinum Jubilee year marks a special significance due to several reasons. Firstly, it coincides with India's 76th independence year, which, it, which in itself is a glorious occasion. Secondly, this year has been extra special in terms of showing the un undying spirit of the whole DSSW family. Despite the advers adversities, we, we could display extraordinary resilience. A warm welcome and congratulations Congratulations to all of you on this incredible milestone. Now, we invite our head of the department, Professor Pamela Singla, the backbone of the guiding force of the department to welcome our special dignitaries, our honorable chief guests, guests of honor, and our special guest. Thank you, Maninder and Soumya, and a very good afternoon to everyone present with us today. A very warm welcome to the 76th annual day of the Department of Social Work, University of Delhi. I really feel privileged to welcome our guests this afternoon. We are extremely happy and honored to have with us a very vibrant administrator and an academician of great repute, Professor Shri Prakash Singh, who has very graciously consented to be our chief guest on this 76th annual day of the department, despite his very busy schedule. As we all know, <laughs> as we all know, Professor, Professor Shri Prakash Singh Ji, he is the director South Campus, and he also teaches at the uh, Department of Political Science of the University of Delhi. He has nearing three decades of rich teaching experience and he has been really actively involved at the uni university administration since very long. We welcome you, uh, sir, to the annual day. 
It's been a very pleasant surprise for us to have our Dean Academics with us, uh, Professor Ratnavali. We welcome her. <laughs> Professor Ratnavali uh, is, um, of course, as I said, the Dean Academics of the University of Delhi, and she teaches at the Faculty of Law, and a uh, very well-known uh, lawyer in her own way, and a person of great repute once again. Welcome. <laughs> we are extremely honored to have with us our eminent alumni as our guests of honor. I feel privileged to introduce to you, to, to this esteemed gathering, our guests of honor, guest of honor, Miss Anita Paul. Anita ji is director, community initiatives at the Pan Himalayan Grassroots Development Foundation and is doing a lot of work with the communities there. A 1980 batch graduate from the department, her work has won her many accolades including being honored with the Janki Devi Bajaj Award for Rural Entrepreneurship. Of course, much more, which we'll, you'll get to know. We welcome you, Anita ji, and, a, and we are really grateful to you for having taken out time out of your really busy schedule. And we look forward to listening to your work and also your journey, DSSW onwards. Our next guest of honor is again an alumin, uh, eminent alumnus, Ms. Ashita Mittal. Ashita works with the office UN, no, UN docs. She works with the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime as its regional representative for Central Asia. And her professional work ranges from United Nations, a Food for Work program, and of course, much more. A 1986 graduate from the department, she resides in Tashkent at present, and we were really fortunate to have her join, uh, to have her join us today. A hearty welcome to you, uh, Ashita. <laughs> Our next eminent guest of honor is Shri Kalyan Paul. He is the executive director of Community Initiatives, Pan Himalayan Grassroots Development Foundation, and a 1980 batch graduate from the department. Paul was selected as an Ashoka Fellow in 1992, and he has been honored with Jamnalal Bajaj Award for his renowned work. We welcome you, sir, and thanks for taking out time for us. We are indeed very happy to welcome Dr. Shakuntla David, the national president, YWCA of India, who very kindly accepted our invitation and agreed to be our special guest. Dr. David is presently leading large number of YWCA organizations and is actively involved working on the issue of women and children. She's also a mental health expert with a doctorate in counseling from Berkeley University, USA. It's a great pleasure to have you with us, Dr. David, and a very warm welcome. <laughs> I'm deeply indebted to all our guests for accepting our request and for gracing this much awaited program with their presence. On behalf of the entire department, I extend a very warm welcome to all our guests and to everyone present here with us today. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for welcoming the guests. May we please request our head of, the, head of the department, Professor Pamela Singla, to felicitate our honorable chief guest, Director South Campus, Professor Sri Prakash Singh. We request Professor Sanjay Bhatt to felicitate the Honorable Dean Academics, Professor Ratna Bali. With immense pleasure, I invite Professor Neera Agnimitra to felicitate Ms. Anita Paul. <laughs> Requesting Professor Sanjay Roy to felicitate Ms. Ashita Mittal. We 
we request Professor Nina Pandey to felicitate Mr. Kalyan Paul. We, are, we request Professor Malti to felicitate Ms. Sakuntala David. We humbly request Professor Malti and our HOD to felicitate our non-teaching staff, Ms. Prem Lata. We request Mr. Thomas to felicitate our department secretary, Dr. Meenu Anand. We request Dr. Shashi Rani Dev to felicitate Professor Pamela Singh. Singla. Our section officer, Ms. Meena Sharma, would not be make it. Yeah, uh, our section officer, Ms. Meena Sharma, could not make it due to ill health. So, dear dignitaries and audience, now we will take a virtual visit to our very own Department of Social Work through an audiovisual. Since we are not physically present at the department, we bring the department to you.
I'm sure you must have enjoyed the virtual tour. It must be humbling and nostalgic for all of us watching this video, living and reliving the lives of the Department of Social Work. Now we would request Professor Pamela Singla to present the annual report 2021-22 to, to the gathering. We introduce our department uh, head, Professor Pamela Singla. Professor Singla teaches social policy and gender studies, a graduate in economics honors from Sri Ram College of Commerce. She obtained her MA, MPhil, PhD in so social work from the Department of Social Work. We request ma'am to please release the annual report. Ma'am, uh, we request you to please uh, present the annual report. Thank you once again and a very good afternoon yet again. Our distinguished guests on and off the dais Honorable guests from the university, members of the faculty, staff, students, and our very dear alumni. And I'm really tempted to say, it's a, indeed a great pleasure to have with us um, Amya Gangrade and um, uh, Dr. Kalpna David. Then we have Abhay and Kenneth Kumar Deepak. So many of you, it's indeed a real pleasure for us to have you with us today. With great pride, I present to this August gathering the 76th annual day report of the department covering the period April 2021 to March 2022. The presentation is a snapshot of our engagements in the 76th year of social work education and research in the 100 years of the University of Delhi which is celebrating its centenary this year. The department, as we know, was established in 1946 as the National YWCA School of Social Work at Lucknow and became the second school of social work in India. The National YWCA School of Social Work was shifted to Delhi in 1947 and got affiliated to the University of Delhi in 1948 under the new name Delhi School of Social Work. In 1978-79, the DSSW became full-fledged department of the university. Presently, it is a department under the Faculty of Social Science of this university. This year, while we rejoice of another Platinum Jubilee celebration by way of relocation of this school to Delhi, the department concludes its Platinum Jubilee celebrations of the foundation year. The events began in the year 2020 as we entered our 75th year and continued throughout the academic year 2020 to 22. The department continued the tradition of excellence building on a strong foundation laid down by the great stalwarts of our department. And on this day, we remember each one of them with a great sense of pride. We at the department feel proud of our performance during another very crucial as well as challenging year. We continued our academic program 
through online teaching learning process and conducted the open book examinations for the student promotions. The academic program had to be restructured and field work, which is the heart of social work as we know, had to be redesigned to suit the situation. Given our commitment of focused performance, the department has been able to upgrade its resource infrastructure in many ways. For instance, by renovating its office into a classroom, setting up a network connection in the department, converting our committee room into a fully functional audiovisual room, and purchase of significant infrastructural facilities to augment our work. I'm indeed confident that with the enhanced infrastructure, the department shall be able to meet the new age demands of providing global standards in education and research to our students as well as the faculty. The year 2021 to 22 has been a productive year for us and was marked by multifaceted initiatives that were taken in the online, blended, as well as offline modes. I'm delighted to share with you that as per the result of Best College Survey 2022, conducted by India Today, for the period 2021, our department has been ranked the best government-funded college in social work in academic excellence in India. The best government-funded college in social work in personality and leadership development in India. We have also been ranked as the best government-funded college in social work in career progression and placement, and also as the best college of social work in northern India. Our overall national ranking is third, with a slight margin before we could reach the second and the first ranking. And as per the ranking conducted by Outlook 2022, the department has once again ranked very high on parameters, various parameters, and we've been ranked as the best college in India in academic research excellence. Moving forward, I feel proud to share that all three academic programs being run by the department, namely our master's program, MPhil and PhD, continued with great dynamism in the online as well as in the blended modes. I'm pleased to announce that during this year, nine PhD students submitted their thesis and were awarded their degree. I heartily congratulate them. The department currently has 107 scholars registered for their doctoral research. The MPhil program of the department currently has students from three different MPhil batches pursuing their course simultaneously in line with the UGC guidelines. This year, nine students have taken admission in the MPhil program. The MPhil and PhD programs were coordinated successfully by Professor Seema Sharma and Professor A. Malti. Congratulations. <laughs> Our master's program continues to be among the most sought after and one of the most prestigious courses being run in the country. The nodal officer for admission this year was Mr. P.C. Behra. 106 students were admitted, including foreign students, after a rigorous selection through the entrance examination. Just to add that the students came from different academic backgrounds, so we have a very diversified set of students with us, and the master's program was coordinated by Dr. Meenu Anand. To add, this year, 1,600 plus candidates applied for the master's course at the Department of Social Work. Friends, fieldwork practicum continued to flourish under the directorship of Professor Nina Pandey. Apart from the intensive orientation programs that the course has, the department provided an extra impetus to the students through the supportive field instructions program, and this was coordinated by Dr. Shashirani Dev. With the rigorous effort of the placement cell team under the leadership of Professor Archana Kaushik and Dr. Veda Yumnam, more than 90% students have received job offers from reputed organizations. <laughs> I'm really happy to share with you that the highest pay packet this year is 10 lakh by KPMG. <laughs> and the average pay packet has also improved, that's 6 lakh per annum. The recruiters are again uh, varied, diversified. We have had NGOs recruiting our students, 
public and private sector undertakings, private sector social enterprises, scholarship programs like the America India Foundation, to name a few. The department has always encouraged young achievers and has instituted several awards and scholarships to acknowledge their achievement. The Delhi School of Social Work Society every year confers these awards to the students. I wish to congratulate all the achievers who will be awarded their medals today. Mr. Nandish Agarwal, uh, I hope he's here. He said he'll be coming. So Mr. Nandish Agarwal gets the Phyllis Gore Award for the best student for all round performance. And also the Gyan Pandit Award for getting the highest marks in MA first year. Ms. Shrishti Bhattacharya has received the Shrimati Kunda Datar gold medal as well as the Maharishi Karve Memorial Prize for securing the first position in MA final examination. Aksa Hafiz Rahman gets Society for Development Action gold medal for securing the highest marks in field work. <clears throat> Many of our other students have also received awards and commendations and I take this opportunity to wish them the best for their personal and professional life. Our alumni continue to excel and contribute majorly in diverse arenas. I am proud to share with you that our alumni association under the leadership of Dr. Neerad Seth got registered this year as the Delhi School of Social Work Society Alumni Association. That's been a big landmark for us. The department partnered with the alumni for the supportive lectures for the students, and additionally, the year saw the landscaping of our department lawns. You must come and see the department. We've got a beautiful landscaping done with the active involvement of the alumni, including the training of the department Mali's by a reputed horticulturist. Thanks to you once again, Dr. Neerad said, for facilitating that. A tree plantation drive was also organized by CDM Foundation, spearheaded by our own very alumnus Lakshmi Menon. As a premier social work educational institution, the department has organized the Platinum Jubilee Lecture Series, coordinated by Dr. Pushpanjali Jha. I take great pride in sharing with all of you that the first two Platinum Jubilee Lectures were delivered by Professor Lena Domnally from University of Stirling, UK, and Professor Janice Fook, Department of Social Work, University of Vermont, USA. Both the lectures were attended by the audience across the country and abroad in the online mode. To commemorate the 100th birth anniversary of our founder principal, Professor M.S. Gore, the department organized a series of events, including a seminar, life and work of Professor M.S. Gore. We also had alumni lecture by uh, Brinda Singh, and we had the M.S. Gore memorial lecture by Professor, none other than but Professor N.J. Ram from Tata Institute. The events provided the department an opportunity to pay tribute to the great scholar, educator, and leader that he was. I'm happy to share that in line with the past practices of the department of responding to disaster crisis, the department established the Nodal Center for COVID response to global public health crisis that we saw. The department associated also with Delhi University Health Center, WS, to address the health issues of students and the uh, staff members. The field action projects, as we know, the department is known for its field action projects the Center for Community Development and Action, and known as Gram Mehila Kendra earlier, and the Child and Adolescent Wellbeing uh, CGC Center, as you know. Uh, they kept itself afloat through students and supervisors, but due to the pandemic and restricted mobility, the work in the centers could not be taken up with the same rigor, and hopefully will be resumed now as the situation is getting normal. In terms of our endeavor to continuously engage with the gender-based challenges, the department celebrated the International Women's Day. This year, the Women's Day was marked by the physical presence of more than 20 organizations working with women's groups and their families, and they showcased their products in this event. We titled the event as Women's Spaces and Voices Exhibiting Their Strength. And the event was graced by Professor Shri Prakash Singh and Professor Payal Mago, who is the director, Campus of Open Learning. 
Uh, as a part of this event, we also had documentaries and street shows, which happened to be the highlights of the day and attracted a lot of attention from the university students. Many new initiatives and events were organized, including the celebration of International Yoga Day, Constitution Day, research colloquiums, webinars, as well as the celebration of Northeast Day. These events were coordinated by our young faculty, comprising, of course, we all say that we are young at heart, but then the, our young faculty, Mr. Abhishek Thakur, Mr. Andy Thomas, and Mr. Pratap Behra, who also is the student's advisor. And I must say that all of them are also actively engaged, along with the other faculty, in um, uh, um, making arrangements for the annual day, which we are uh, ourselves you know, witness to. The department continues to be a part of international collaborations. And we are one of the partners in the project Rishi, that is Resources for Internationalization of Higher Education Institutions in India, which is co-founded by Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. The year saw multiple initiatives by our students despite the ongoing challenges due to the pandemic. And a student's group named Bagicha was initiated to discuss gender in an inclusive manner with the aim of providing safe public spaces to everyone, especially the fall genders, uh, to, so that they are able to express themselves. Apart from shouldering their teaching responsibility, the faculty members remained actively engaged in research and action projects, which added to the corporate life of the department. They contributed books and published research papers in various international as well as national journals of high repute. Professor Neera Agnimitra, I see her walking out. Professor Neera Agnimitra, Professor Bhatt, Sanjoy Roy, uh, Sudhir Maske, and Shashi Dev were actively involved in the centenary celebrations of the university. Three of our faculty members, Mr. N.T. Thomas, Mr. Sudhir Maske, and Pratap Behra, have been promoted from stage one to stage two in their career advancement scheme. I heartily congratulate them. The department, along with the colleagues from the two colleges where we have the bachelors in social work, we actively engaged in formulating the new undergraduate curriculum framework in line with the new education policy. And the course was passed in the recently held academic council. And that, of course, is a big achievement for us. And of course, Professor Shiri Prakash was also present there and really facilitated. Thank you. The department participated in the university's initiative for capacity building of its staff. The non-teaching staff participated in the training programs organized by the university. The teaching faculty participated in the orientation and refresher courses for the career advancement. COVID task force committee under the guidance of Professor Sanjay Bhatt remained very active throughout the year. COVID appropriate, appropriate behavior to be followed in the department was ensured by the committee. Automated hand sanitizers, thermometer, mask, etc., which were installed last year, were well in use under the COVID protocols. Our non-teaching staff, I'm glad they're all here, our non-teaching staff worked with commitment and great efficiency during these very challenging times. We managed our work very well despite the severe staff crunch that we faced and also the university is facing. I'm happy to share that our Mali, Mr. Chandra Prakash, got the best Mali prize in the 64th annual flower show of the university. And I think a lot goes to uh, the landscaping that we had done. <laughs> During this year, two of our staff members, Ms. Rama Devi, thank you for coming, Ramaji, you're right there. Ms. Rama Devi and Mr. Brijesh Kumar superannuated after the completion of their successful tenures. While Rama Devi served in the department for nine years, Brijesh Ji had served for more than 23 years. I'm sure all of you would be familiar with him. I take this opportunity to thank all of them for their cooperation and commitment to the department. Friends, I comprehend that the leader is only the sum total of the team members and that it takes the participation and support of all the full team to move forward. Hence, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to all my colleagues in the faculty, the non-teaching staff, and our students, and our alumni. This annual day would not have been possible without their support. I wish to also extend my heartfelt appreciation and acknowledgement to all the fieldwork agencies and all placement organizations which have offered employment to our students. 
I thank the university administration for providing the institutional support for all our activities, and especially we thank the Delhi University Computer Center. We thank the university for providing us this magnificent venue for two of our annual days, and I really hope, and I'm sure we hope, <laughs> that next year we are in a position to have the annual day back in the department auditorium with the support of our engineering department. Thank you very much for a very patient listening. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for highlighting the achievements of the department. It is really heartening to see that despite the pandemic, our department of social work has been active throughout. The department is beaming with high energy due to offline classes and hostel life. Our batch has been fortunate enough to interact face to face with, this, with our esteemed faculty and live, live the campus life. Friends, it is a huge honor to have with us today our chief guest, Professor Sri Prakash Singh. It is our privilege to introduce Sir to the audience. Professor Sri Prakash Singh is Director South Campus and Professor at the Department of Political Science, University of Delhi. He has served the University of Delhi since 1995. Sir has also served in one of the prestigious colleges of Delhi University, Sri Aurobindo College. Professor Singh has held some major administrative assignments, including Chair Professor, Dr. Ambedkar Chair in Social Justice, Indian Institute of Public Administration, New Delhi. He was Director, Advanced Professional Program in Public Administration. Member, Board of Thank Control you, to Vita. Governors. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Pamela Singlazi, for having me here again in this program, the program of social work to a second time in this very academic session. Or I ginti kar raha tha ka how many times I have visited this campus. To maine apne student days ka bhi socha, faculty days ka bhi socha. To mujhe laga ke around 10 times I have visited this campus. Once as a speaker when a seminar was conducted few years back in your campus when your own auditorium was workable, though there was bricks were here and they were, were telling the story how it is maintained. Twice being a director South Campus, rest of the time as a student having paratha in morning at the canteen. Jubilee mein rehta tha, milta nahi tha, to aap ke haan ke kha leta tha. अच्छा बनता था। प्रोफेसर अनीता पॉल, सकुंतला डेविड, आशिता मित्तल, कल्याण पॉल, प्रोफेसर रत्नाबली डीन एकेडमिक्स, मिसेस प्रेमलता, प्रोफेसर संजय भाट, प्रोफेसर एके सिंह जी, नीरा चली गईं। उन्हें सिलेक्शन कमेटी में जाना था नीना पांडे प्रोफेसर संजय रॉय प्रोफेसर मीनू आनंद डिग्नेटरीज ऑफ द डायस डियर स्टूडेंट्स 76 ईयर ऑफ जर्नी ऑफ दिस एमिनेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी 76 years for individual is an age to reckon with, to share with, lots of stories and laurels. <clears throat> but for me, or to my understanding, 76 years for institution is just a beginning. And with this success story, you are best government funded college by India today. Then Outlook, third ranking, and huge possibility, immense possibility. And 
no one knows better than our faculty where we lack where we are improving where we can go for achieving something what is needed to the institution and looking at the faculty looking at the strength looking at the achievements i am very much sure that in coming years social work will have its own first position and that position will be continued for so many years <laughs> and it's not that i am chief guest here that's why i am saying so it's my conviction regarding our all institutions of the who are part of the university right we have immense potential but sometimes due to infra issues due to some other issues we have not been doing much but we can do wonders to the nation or jab main ye baat keh raha hu to main ye keh sakta hu ki i have visited almost each and every corner of the country in form of various committee members and institutional visits and audit committees of government of india looking at our university mujhe to koi milta nahi jo humko match kar sake मैं प्रोजोटिस बताता हूँ वेन नेक कमेटी वॉज विजिटिंग आस तो वॉट वॉज देयर परस्पेक्टिव अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड वॉज ए मेम्बर ऑफ दैट कमेटी तो बोले जब हम दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी आते हैं तो हम कुछ ज़्यादा ही ध्यान से देखते हैं सीधा सा मतलब हम दूसरी जगह जाते हैं तो इतना बारीकी से स्टडी नहीं करते हैं और जब ध्यान से देखा जाता है तो कुछ कमियाँ निकल आती हैं मैं तमाम इंस्टीट्यूशंस को देखता हूं जहां उनके ग्रेड्स बहुत अच्छे हैं हम परसेप्शन में पीछे रह जाते हैं बट आर यूनिवर्सिटी इज वर्किंग हार्ड एंड विद इन फ्यू इयर्स विल रिगेन आर पोजीशंस अगेन एंड विल मेंटेन फॉर इयर्स टू कम बहुत सारा काम दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी इस वक्त कर रही है इंफ्रा पर बहुत काम हो रहा है और मैं कह सकता हूँ कि प्रोफेसर नैयर के बाद अभी हमारे ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर योगेश सिंह जी के समय में जितने इनिशिएटिव्स लिए गए हैं शायद इतने इनिशिएटिव्स पहले नहीं लिए गए थे तो आने वाले सालों में तो एक तो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल प्रॉब्लम्स ख़त्म होंगी कोर्सेज को हम सब ने अपग्रेड किया है रिफॉर्मुलेट किया है नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी के तहत चीज़ों को ठीक करने की कोशिश की है और ये एक रेगुलर प्रोसेस है वो लगातार चलता रहेगा तो उसमें भी मुझे लगता है कि दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी जो है वो बहुत अच्छा करेगी और सब लोग हमारी तरफ देख रहे हैं अभी मैं प्रोफेसर सिंह के साथ बातचीत कर रहा था तो कह रहे थे कि ये वाला काम हम लोग कब करेंगे दूसरे भी देख रहे हैं कि हम कुछ करें तो वो हमारा एडॉप्ट कर लें believe me people have been waiting for our policies in form of syllabi in form of regulations if we upload they follow it they copy it aur main aapko apna experience batata hu i was member academic council 2008 and we were visiting revisiting rather ordinance 6 associated with our uh, 6b for phd programs and on that very day i had two calls one from ugc and one from jivaji university gwalior ki aapki complete ho gayi ho to humko bhej dijiye you just pick the 6b of policy adopted by delhi university and later on adopted by ugc aapko bahut kuch mil jayega ki to sab university ka liya hua hai to bahut kuch delhi university acha karti hai aur उस अच्छे में हमको प्राइड लेना चाहिए और उसको इतना अच्छा करें कि हमसे हिंदुस्तान ही ना सीखे दुनिया सीखे जब इस सोशल वर्क की तरफ मैं सोचता हूँ तो मैं सोच रहा था सुबह क्योंकि पामेला जी ने बुलाया था कुछ बोलना तो था ही तो मैंने संजय से कहा भाई कुछ पॉइंटर्स भेज दो जो पॉइंटर्स भेजे उन्होंने वो भी बुकिस पॉइंटर्स भेजे मजा नहीं आया देखो एकेडमिक्स की पहली और अच्छी बात होती ईमानदारी से बोलना चाहिए अच्छे भेजे होते तो मैं थैंक्स करके जाता एनीवे 
Sometimes we find a person in our governing body is a social activist, social worker. Is it the new phenomena or the old phenomena? And when this came to my mind, ये social worker कौन है, social work कौन है, social work है क्या चीज़? ये कोई नई बात है क्या? हम पढ़ाते क्यों हैं इसको? Then I was reminded few lines from our Sastra, the classics. Vyas, Veda Vyas wrote about two things. Astadas Purani su Vyasas se Vachanadvayam. Paropkaraya Punyaya Papaya Parapidanam. And the same spirit enumerated by Goswami Tulasidas Ji. A days back we had Tulasidas Jayanti. Goswami Tulsidas Ji wrote, Parahit Sarisa Dharma Nahi Bhai, Par Pida Sam Nahi Adhamai. Just look at the nature. Briksh Kavau Nahi Falvakhe Nadi Na Sanche Neer. Par Marath Ke Karne Sadhun Dhara Sarir. This self and its spirit is important for the social work. If that is missing from the individuals, then the purpose of being a human is not complete. And again, Tulsidas writes, Parahit bas jinke man mahi, Parahit bas jinke man mahi, Tin kahu ja kach durlab nahi, Nothing is impossible, Those who are in field of social work and social service. तो आप लोगों के लिए कुछ भी असंभव नहीं है, कुछ भी दुर्लभ नहीं है, जो लोग इस इंस्टीट्यूशन के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं, क्योंकि ये जो इंस्टीट्यूशनल बिलोंगिंग है, वो मजबूरी की नहीं है। What I have perceived knowing this institution with so many years, with the students and friends, those who have worked with this institution or working with this institution. अगर उनमें सर्विस मोटिव नहीं होता, तो वो इस संस्थान में पढ़ते नहीं, पढ़ाते नहीं। No doubt जॉब है, लेकिन उस जॉब के साथ जस्टिस तभी हो रहा है जब उनका सर्विस मोटिव है। तो इस नाते मैं कह रहा हूँ कि आपके लिए कुछ भी मुश्किल नहीं है, और खास करके उस इंसान के लिए कुछ भी मुश्किल नहीं है। जो सेल्फ से ऊपर उठ करके सोचता है पर हित सरी सदर्म नहीं भाई जो दूसरे की हित की सोचता है वेलफेयर की सोचता है सर्विस की सोचता है उसके कल्याण की सोचता है वही मानवता है और यही हम सब का मानवीय गुण है और यही हम सब का मानवीय धर्म भी होना चाहिए एक और बात मुझे व्यक्तिगत जीवन से बतानी है, how this works। हम लोग गांव में पढ़ते थे, लालटेन जला करके केरोसिन नहीं होती थी, तो पढ़ने वाले बच्चों के लिए किसी दूसरे के घर आने जाने की कभी कोई मनाई नहीं थी। और तमाम बूढ़े बुजुर्ग खुद ही कह देते थे, अरे मेरे घर केरोसिन आया ले लो। तो जितना ले आते थे बाद में वापस हो जाता था। लेकिन जो पढ़े लिखे लोग थे, थोड़े वरिष्ठ थे, उनका व्यवहार बड़ा मायने रखता था। और खास करके जब बोर्ड के एग्जाम्स होते थे तब, लगभग लगभग सभी बच्चों को, चाहे वो किसी भी कम्युनिटी के हों, चाहे किसी भी परिवार के हों, जो बड़े लोग थे पढ़े लिखे हुए लोग थे वो कहते थे भाई कभी भी आज के जगा लेना आप जरा सोच करके देखिए and we have I have been beneficiary of that system math तो मुझे आज भी नहीं आती लेकिन math के पड़ोस में एक teacher थे तो रात में जाके अक्सर जगा लेता था उनको जो भी रिश्ते में वो लगते थे वो रिश्ता बोल करके जगा लेता था जरा पढ़ा दीजिए 
और चाहे रात के चार बज रहे हों दो बज रहे हों वो कभी उन्होंने ये नहीं कहा कि क्यों आया है तो सर्विस मोटिव हैव बीन नेचर ऑफ दिस आर ओन सोसाइटी लेकिन उसके डिस्कोर्स को भी खराब करने की एक लगातार कोशिश चलती रहती है तो मैं ये वैल्यू सिर्फ इसलिए आपको याद दिला रहा था कि ये वैल्यूज सोसाइटी के अपने वैल्यूज हैं इसे किसी ने क्रिएट नहीं किया फोर्स नहीं किया कोई अगर वो नहीं पढ़ाते तो उनको कोई पनिशमेंट भी नहीं मिलनी थी उन्होंने पढ़ाया मुझे मैं याद कर ले रहा हूं शायद उनका यही पुरस्कार है अब वो जहां भी होंगे तो ये हमारी सोसाइटी की एक खूबसूरती रही है और वो खूबसूरती सोशल वर्क में दिखती है पेंडेमिक के सीजन में आप सोचें कितनी बड़ी त्रासदी थी पूरा देश झेल रहा था पूरी दुनिया झेल रही थी लेकिन तमाम लोग बाहर निकल कर के सेवा के काम में लग रहे थे ये तो हुई समाज की बात इस फिर सोशल वर्क एज इंस्टीट्यूशन कैसे मदद करता है नो no डाउट मैं आपके कैरिकुलम के बारे में बहुत नहीं जानता पढ़ने की कोशिश भी नहीं की मैडम मौका भी नहीं मिलता है प्रशासन में आने का सबसे बड़ा विक्टिम हमारी पढ़ाई लिखाई होती है और मैं इसी नाते अब कहीं जाता हूं ना तो डर डर के बोलता हूं क्योंकि तैयारी नहीं होती है एनी वे इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक सोशल वर्क हाउ दे कैन कंट्रीब्यूट दे टीच अ सिस्टमेटिक ओरिएंटेशन एमंग द स्टूडेंट्स through which they can lead the society and inculcate this behavior in coming generations in future ek bahut bada kaam social work kar sakta hai aur mujhe lagta hai ki wo kar bhi raha hai kyunki jab aap kahin field visit par jate hain kisi institution mein kaam karte hain to aapko ek torch bearer ke roop mein dekha jata hai आपसे दुनिया सीखती है और अभी आप बता रहे थे कि आपके यहाँ का कोई बच्चा के पी में गया है तो बिलीव मी मुझे खुशी नहीं हुई दस लाख कुछ नहीं होते हैं सर्विस के लिए दस लाख तो कुछ नहीं होते हैं वो द काइंड ऑफ सर्विस वी हैव बीन गिविंग टू द सोसाइटी एंड द काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव बीन प्रोड्यूसिंग और मुझे लगता है कि उस दिशा में थोड़ा सा और काम कर लेंगे तो अगली बार जब आप बताएंगे ना तो बड़ा जोश से बताएंगे कि दिस इज द अचीवमेंट ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन है ना बहुत सारी शुभकामनाओं के साथ अपनी बात समाप्त करता हूं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर फॉर इम्पार्टिंग योर वर्ड्स ऑफ विस्टम योर एम्फोसिस ऑन एम्पथी हेल्प एसेंस ऑफ सेल्फ towards the betterment of humanity will indeed in inspire us in achieving our social work goals now we feel pr proud to introduce to the gathering our professor our honorable dean academics activities and projects professor ratnabadi with a doctorate in lands rights and indigenous people of indigenous peoples she has made a remarkable contribution to the worlds of uh, academia and law she has served the university of delhi for many years we request you ma'am to please address the gathering with your words of wisdom namaskar respected director south campus professor shri prakash singh head of the department professor pamela singla the guest of honor we have ms anita paul director pan himalayan grassroots development foundation uh, ms archita mittal regional representative un office on drugs and crime uh, mr kalyan paul executive director pan himalayan uh, ras grassroots level sorry grassroots development foundation special guest ms kalpana david uh, national general secretary ywca of india uh, we have ms prem lata and uh, dr meena 
distinguished invitees, distinguished alumni, faculty members, and my dear students. I think this is a very proud moment for the Department of Social Work for having completed 76 years of existence. I do agree with our director, sir, that in terms of the number of years of an institution, it may not be long, but uh, I also uh, appreciate and recognize the fact that uh, the consistency in which this particular department has been flourishing, the ranking it has had over the years is commendable, and I think we need to give a big round of applause to this department. I would like to share with you uh, from the perspective of the discipline that I belong to. I teach law, and law is about how to regulate human conduct, how people should relate to one another. And the discipline of social work is a discipline where you are talking about how to solve the problems that the society faces. I think somewhere there is an intersection between these two disciplines. But unfortunately, uh, we as a University of Delhi fraternity, we have not worked or collaborated much about the kind of work which we can do together. Because many a times, uh, what the lawmakers make and what is there at the ground level, there is a gap between the two. And unless we fill that particular gap, law becomes rhetoric. So therefore, I think there is a very dire need, I would say, to work together so that so as to see how law as an instrument of social change has done or has not done what it is supposed to do. So many a times, even the policy that we have because all these policies are to be implemented at the ground level. And unless we know whether the, how hot or how cold is the water, we won't be able to administer the law or the policies or the rules. So therefore, I would like to propose from uh, the department of, I would say, law, that uh, law and social work should, you know, work together and be the instrument of change, the kind of change that we want to see in our country. Because unless we work together, we'll be working in two you know, different dimensions, we'll have different perspectives, whereas we are talking about the same set of people. So it's people we are concerned with. So uh, with this, I would like to, again, uh, bring to light one more thing, which I would like to talk about Professor Pamela Singla, as she has, uh, Sarah also has mentioned, and she has mentioned that we are coming up with the new education policy implementation from the year 2022-23 onwards. And Professor Singla had come personally with some of her colleagues to my office to fine tune whatever syllabus they had made, the, the structure they want to bring in in the four years program of social work. And uh, I'm glad to share with you that we had long deliberations on this, though I'm not an expert of uh, social work, but I did uh, you know, uh, give her insights into what the national education policy expects from us and how far uh, you know, we are able to cater through the curricular framework that we are coming, with, coming up with. And she has been kind enough to uh, incorporate such suggestions and uh, we are hopeful that the coming years will be able to be, uh, I mean, produce the kind of person that the national policy talks about. A person or an individual who is, you know, not only having an in-depth knowledge in one or more disciplines, but an individual who is able to contribute towards the society, who has a spirit of social service at the same time, who is able to think, analyze, come up with you know, innovative suggestions, etc., and contribute towards the country at large. So I uh, once again congratulate all of you, and at the same time uh, urge 
that we as citizens of this country, we as faculty members, we as you know, alumni of Delhi uh, you know, School of Social Work, we should all you know, work together to achieve what the policy intends to and thus you know, further the interests of our nation. Thank you so very much. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, ma'am. Your words are an inspiration to us. We share your views about the relationship between law and social work and both professions working together to bring social change. Now, it is my immense pleasure to introduce our guest of honor, Ms. Anita Paul. Ma'am is director, community initiative and co-founder Pan Himalayan Grassroot Development Foundation, a voluntary organization which promotes holistic river basin restoration through active engagement of communities in the Indian Himalayan region. She is also the founder of, uh, for a founder chairperson for a for-profit producer company with 2,000 marginalized women shareholders engaged in sustainable livelihood improvement efforts. Ms. Paul has been honored with the Janki Devi Bajaj Award for Rural Entrepreneurship in 2010. She has also been featured as an outstanding social entrepreneur in other forums. Ma'am, may I request you to kindly grace the ceremony with your insightful words. Thank you. Namaskar. I must at the outset say I'm overwhelmed. And it's been an honor when Neeraj called me a few days ago, Platinum Jubilee celebrations of your alma mater. And I'm a 1980 graduate, so almost 40 years plus of my own personal journey in this whole uh, you know, with this education from Delhi School of Social Work. So, I mean, I just want to share about what this means to me, is what I really want to talk about. Um, so, respected um, professor saying and Pamela G and friends and colleagues, it's really an honor. And when I was doing my sociology in undergraduate in Miranda House, you know, we Dekte, dekte, we reached our final year and we didn't know what we wanted to do with our lives further. But we had our teachers who, who told us what was, uh, what was the, some of the options available to us. And they said, yes, of course, you can do anthropology. And uh, they took us to the Department of Economics. I think at those days, the anthropology was uh, probably lodged over there. It was very interesting, all very good, but it didn't catch my uh, fancy because it was, in my opinion, I may have been totally wrong then, to, it was more to do with the past. And somewhere in, my, uh, in myself, I was wanting to look at the future and look at what I can do, you know? And, uh, and believe me or not, you know, uh, ma'am, when you were talking from law faculty, I had actually enrolled for law at that point. And before leaving home to join colleges, when I asked, told my father that, no, I'm going to change. He said, what's wrong with you? Where are you changing to? And what are you changing for? I said, no, I, I heard about this department. And actually, I have visited. And it's called the Delhi School of Social Work. And I think that's what my calling is. So he was good enough to say, do what you want to. Now, how did at, when we were in sociology, I think our teachers they brought us, if I'm not mistaken, to Delhi School of Social Work for a little orientation visit. That stayed with me, and that's what led to um, my joining this department. What did, it did to, what did it do, and what does it continue to do, is uh, what I would like to uh, talk about. I think when Professor Singh was saying this whole thing of social service and service, in your uh, from here yeah. so that is one of the things we've been battling with like service a lot of people think a social worker so we have to clarify somewhere that all of us need not and cannot be probably a Gandhi ji but yes we do have service at the core of our belief and yet we can be professionals in a way and that's the change or or we can kind of assist change to the best of our capacity so when we were in college so those two days of field work that we were sent for, I was in Jahangirpuri, and um, that was an eye-opener for me, you know. I, I am from a rural background, but not doesn't mean that I knew what to do and what not to do. And our um, 
fieldwork supervisor and a principal and that day of course when you're young you're just full of idealism and you think you can change the world in a jiffy. So the first thing that a fieldwork supervisor and Professor Rana Devi barged into his office one day and said you must help us, how, come he, how can you not help us? So he said listen, just sit down, take a deep breath and realize what is your strength, what can you do, and what cannot you do, you know? So don't think that you're going to jump into it and you're going to resolve everything together. That's when Kalyan and me were thinking, oh, we are going to just change everything in Delhi, you know, in a, in a day or two only. So that was a good realization to understand your strengths and weaknesses was something that we were reminded about, never to overpromise you know what uh, when you are walking into a community learn to listen learn to engage is some of the things which has you know those core values have uh, kind of held on with me even when i've carried on now 44 years on after college is when we joined uh, i mean i joined my first job was with national dairy development board and with a leader like dr Vergis korean to guide us you know that kind of stayed with me for a very very long time that was the first time, why, why was I taken into that job? Because uh, they took for the first time from social sciences and a graduate from Delhi School of Social Work with the mandate that increase participation of women. So first time, you know, this whole thing of gender and gender inclusiveness and equality and things like that is when I started figuring out what does it mean and what do you have to do, you know? So those kind of, uh, with that kind of background and that, that that whole belief that you can make change provided you have a strong plan of action and you have the convictions to stay and deliver. You know, with Dr. Kurian being in Anand, he, that was, if I'm not mistaken, his very first job or second, and that was his last, you know, and he stuck to his, uh, to his core belief. So, you know, that, with those kind of learnings, I think it has really um, uh, helped me a lot. So after dairy board is then, you know, we had this, um, when I'm saying we, it's me and Kalyan, we had this belief and this dream that if possible, we would just like to make a life in the mountain ecosystems. As the Indian Himalayan region, I belong to the state of Himachal Pradesh, but not that I was born there or lived there. It was just a thing, you know. So, you know, with that dream, and I just, I don't know, in case I have some young colleagues over here, is that, it's never, it's never a waste of time if you're dreaming, you know, provided we can do something about those dreams and work towards fulfilling them. So we took a chance. We took a chance and we told our, um, our bosses in National Dairy Development Board that this is what we want to do. They, they said they are going to be up against a wall because that's time in an NGO world, you, you start from scratch. Right, and you have to uh, chalk out your path and do whatever, right from your finances to your projects to everything, you know. They said, listen, at least you are here. Money is not a hassle for you to look for, which, which we, but we said, no, 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 but we are going to try, but it's very good that you are here in case we fail, we will come back to you, you know. So, this, so they were very appreciative, I mean, they were very supportive. So we did walk out, and in 1992 is when we started Grassroots. Um, uh, we headquartered ourselves in Uttarakhand, and actually with a um, lot of good luck and a lot of blessings, we didn't have to go back to Dairy Board, and we did manage. <laughs> Often, I have figured what is it, you know, what is it that I really want to call myself and what is the profession that I'm really engaged in. So, you know, I mean, the closest that I can think about it is, is like it's community development, right? It's a community organizer. I'm a community development practitioner. So what does it mean? You know, what is the strength that I carry? So I think this whole broad-based a curriculum that we have in Delhi School of Social Work, you know, it has helped us. It has helped us in the sense I'm not a specialist to begin with. With, with, special, with spe too much of specialization, you also probably get blinkered. And you think that you know it all. So because we don't know anything about anything, but we know a lot about everything else. So we have this thing, you know? So this thing about 
listening and about being humble and that empathy that was taught to us and that is the main thing is that empathy which everybody today is realizing is probably a core value that we all need to develop in ourselves and going forward for for whole the, this in what we are calling uh, sustainable development goals uska pehle millennium development goals and doing whatever you have to do but that empathy if we don't forget about that who are we with uh, who are we working for and that whole thing of do your day's work you know to the best that you can and being impartial i think these are some of the things that this course has really um, helped us it's really a joy to hear your annual report because when we walked out in 80 there was no placement there was nobody waiting with a salary or anything like that it's really a, it's really a good um, beginning i mean it's a very very uh, good place to be in at least i mean because i don't know whether that's too good or bad because we had the challenge ke ab karna hi hoga tumko jo bhi you are out there and you are out there on your own so you have to sink or swim you know so that i think that whole thing has uh, helped us a lot uh, going forward you know i mean uh, coming in a lot of people have asked what's the future of community development practitioners you know i mean where where does it take you where are you now and uh, how do you see yourselves in the future all of us have been toying with this idea and i i personally feel that more so now than before you know we have a stronger role to play and academicians and practitioners and they we have a great um, um, we can have a nice collaboration because times have changed knowledge management and sharing has become so much easier that uh, we can make a nice uh, going forward it's got a huge role but we also need to change ourselves i agree and, and uh, uh, so i was part of this uh, organization called international association for community Devel for community development and in short i think it's called icd some of you may know about it it's just a network of um, community development professionals and academicians and we've been toying with this idea about what to do and what not to do and we had Uh, uh, written a book which i'm carrying here which i would like to give to the library in case if it's of any use just basically listing down some of the core values that we must not forget about what it is for community development what does it mean really uh, it's really nice to be here thank you very much for giving me this honor and uh, i'm glad that i did uh, come <laughs> come and uh, uh, shared this evening with you Thank you very much. It's really uh, proud to be here. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your experiences with us. This serves as a guiding force for all of us. Your emphasis on the core values of social work, vis-a-vis uh, -vis empathy and service, are really inspiring to us. Our next guest of honor is Miss Ashita Mittal. Ms Ashita Mittal is regional representative United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Central Asia. She has worked extensively for over 35 years in the development sector with civil society mainly on drug use, prevention, treatment and rehabilitation in India and abroad. She has worked with the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime for over 21 years on drugs, transnational organized crime and terrorism in diverse capacities. Prior to this she served as the officer in charge and the deputy representative UN ODC's country office in Afghanistan from 2009 to 2014. She served as the deputy representative UN ODC regional office for South Asia covering Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Maldives and Sri Lanka from 1995 to 2009. Prior to this she served with the World Food Program in India engaging in food security. From 1986 and 1993 she worked extensively with civil society on drug use prevention and restoration in India and was well recognized for her pioneering work. Ms Mittal was also Fulbright fellow in the US. It is an honor for Delhi School of Social Work to have you here ma'am. We welcome you to kindly address the gathering. Thank you. It's always an honor to come back to the university and I have to confess but i'm coming back after many many years and i wish i had done this earlier just as i sat here i became very very nostalgic and when i heard especially ms anita paul talk about the work 
and the university. I actually felt, took me many, many years back. And when I saw the video, actually I felt very nostalgic. I thought about the canteen, I thought about the lawns, I thought about the library, and many stories that are woven and shaped up also my way of thinking and doing. This long introduction doesn't really befit a person like me who likes to put her head down and work. But just to say, Professor Sri Prakash Singh Ji, uh, from La, uh, Pamela Singla, you know, Pamela, thank you for inviting me. I'm glad that I was in, the in town and I was able to join you. Ms. Uh, Anita Paul, Ms. Kalyan Paul, uh, Mr. Kalyan Paul, distinguished participants, students, faculty, alumni, and professors, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say that when I was planning to come here, I thought I was not a great student, so I must write down something so that I don't make a fool of myself in this August gathering of academicians and professors who are here. I didn't have a particularly good record in terms of my attendance in the classes, but it was okay because the canteen used to call us, the street theater used to call us, and I always thought when I joined Delhi University that actually we will be able to change. And I have to say that the Delhi School of Social Work did help me change some of my perceptions, but we were very fortunate to have a great faculty that also helped me shape up my future and my professional life. It's a pleasure to join you on the Platinum Jubilee celebration on the occasion of the Department of Social Works and, or Delhi School of Social Works, 76th annual day. 76 years, I really don't believe. I actually believe an idea works. And can you imagine in 1946, when somebody conceptualized the fact that you require a professional social work institution, it was really a great inspiration for all of us that we need to think and we need to think big because we need to have a vision as to what we can do. For the nation that was going to get its independence, it was important that we cultivate the values of social work that required social cohesion, that required community development, as was said, that required for all of us to professionally be able to conduct ourselves. I also have the privilege of being the second generation of people who benefited of the Delhi School of Social Work my father was here at the, in the Delhi School of Social Work in mid-50s, and then I joined in eight, from 84 to 86. So I saw that his journey and uh, the way things shaped up for him, but I also had the privilege of meeting with his, his uh, colleagues, his friends, the faculty that was teaching also in the 60s and the 70s and the 50s, and they became good friends who also helped me shape up the way in which I, I was uh, I was going to take, uh, you know, take forward my own professional life. I really want to salute the founding fathers of the school, fathers and mothers of the school and department and all those who nurtured it and gave it a culture of excellence as a bridge between theory and practice of social work in the country. And I think that's what's really important because these two days of field work actually tell you that it's not just enough to read and do the rote learning. I wish in many other disciplines uh, they would follow the same principles of marrying theory and practice, which is actually important. And I see now more and more students go in for internship, and it's always a pleasure for me to have students coming in for internship, also to where I work. We are taught the power of grit, passion, and perseverance, preparing us for life, igniting the desire to question, explore, and exchange, and change. Because what is really constant, it's, as a cliche said, is change. And I see that the way the social work discipline has changed over the period of time, it's also had to keep pace with the many challenges that we face today and perhaps will face in the future too. I have to say that the many values that were we talked about today were, were there, they were instilled, because the social work profession has existed for more than a century and it has attracted people who have a strong desire to help individuals, families, communities, and countries overcome issues that prevent them from reaching their full potential. I think that's extremely important for us to recognize that not everybody decides to do social work. Yes, we do it also because we want a job after we do a master's in social work, but that's not the only driver. As was said, sometimes you have formative ideas, but they get crystallized when you go through a professional education. And we are fortunate to be part of this through the last past 75 years to have stalwarts who have shaped up and have been the beacon of light in this sector. I was looking at the names like, you know, Ms. Moses, 
you know, Professor Gore, M.S. Gore, uh, you know, we had Professor Ranade, Professor Gangrade, I see his son here, and also don't know. It was really a privilege to have them as our professors. I get goosebumps when I talk about it because I remember the teaching was not only in the classrooms. I remember when Professor Pathak would take us into the lawn and make us sit together and say, look, throw your watches away and think critically that how you can change a mind. He was used to teach us medical and psychiatric social work. And I think that's where the idea of also working on substance use management came in because I realized when I passed out of the university, drug use in the mid 80s was a big, big problem. I had friends, I had many professionals whose children were addicted to substances. And therefore I thought, let me try something new which is different from uh, what I would normally do, have thought of doing, and my parents weren't particularly happy that I have to go and work with drug users, with multiple complex you know, issues of mental health issues. Um, I did work on the first treatment centers that were established in the city. And I can say that when we took the, took the initiative of also going into prisons and working on these issues, it was perhaps because I did, had learned that never to say no, you have to take the challenge and try to make, to turn every problem into an opportunity to change and do things differently. And that came from those professors who gave us the courage, the conviction to do things differently and do it in a way. But I remember you know, treating more than 5,000 drug users as a clinical practitioner. But every time we treated, they would go back and relapse. So I thought, let me go to the US. And that's where this Fulbright Fellowship came in. I went to the US and I worked for one year in an inner city hospital. And I realized that actually it is the nature of the disease it's not always possible for us to change. We cannot change everything. We can help people to come to that decision to change. We can be enablers to change. We can help them take them to the right direction and also support people. So I think that's really a learning that we have to institute. I also learned that it's important not only to think about good things, but there has to be a certain professional acumen that allows us to also document, research, and also to look at more evidence-informed decisions that we take in our practice. Values of professionalism coupled with the respect for diversity, accountability, and integrity instilled in us put us in good stead for life. Inclusion, gender, rights perspectives shape this thought. A non-judgmental attitude helps us in reaching to the most vulnerable, including those in communities and in closed settings such as prisons. And today when I work on the Nelson Mandela rules for engaging with prisoners, I always think back of the time, my discussions with the professors on what we need to do so that we also are more inclusive in the way in which we work. I can safely say that the formative education has helped me go through some of the most challenging situations, including in Afghanistan and now across Central Asia and Southern Caucasus, as well as my work in South Asia. Countries like Central Asia now are thinking of introducing professional education in their countries. They don't have schools of social work. They don't have professional social work institutions. They do not even have, in many of the countries, you know, they do have departments of psychology, but even psychiatry is new to, to the area. It's not to say those. So those who didn't have it, we have less that, and I said it took a vision to have a school of social work even as early as uh, initiating it in 1946. So I think I would really strongly encourage the department to think of partnering with countries who want to initiate it. Maybe perhaps we can take this forward as a gift and a friendship between India and the Central Asian countries, something that you could even consider looking at it in a hybrid format now that we started looking at hybrid uh, uh, education, but also to co-opt the alumni such as Ms. Anita Paul, Mr. Kanyan Paul, and others who are sitting today here in the room and others uh, from the, uh, our Association of Social Workers to also look at the practice. I find that this is the, one of the big gaps. We talk about sustainable development in the work line of work that we do. The 16 goals, 164 indicators, you're looking at researching that to understand how do you bring these uh, concepts together. You require professional education to be able to put this together. Also, today social work is corporatized. We have to survive. We have to survive to get funds for our institutions. We need to equip our students to be able to do that in a way that will enable them to look at resource mobilization to be able to also uh, compete with people. This is competition. We cannot uh, accept it. 
You know, today there are more than 3 million social workers across the world, with, according to some estimates. But 3 million social workers is nothing compared to the problems that we are facing today. And I say that now we face triple challenges, triple, you know, crisis. We have COVID-19, unprecedented crisis that the world is seeing. It is not only about the physical pain, it's the psychological pa pain that people have gone through. It has changed the way in which we look at things. We also like, have to realize that it has changed the economic, in, you know, uh, economies of many countries. But also we are learning that today you don't, can't be insulated and say, my country, my people, my vaccines. We need a collective decision making process for the social work students to also equip themselves. As was said uh, uh, by Ratnaji, that Ratna Balaji, that we need to really look at interdisciplinary processes. We need rule of law. We need to bring in law and social work practices together. As an organization, we work extensively on, on also uh, E4J, which is you know, education for justice, et cetera, et cetera. And I will not bore you with more and more issues from the UN system, but actually I would say we need to look at more interdisciplinary processes to bring this uh, work together in, uh, you know, uh, to, the, to the communities. But let me also say the issues of gender, the issues of youth engagement, the issues of really pu putting people at the heart of the response is something that we need to really instill and to be able to do that. Because while technology is taking a different line, we need to see how do we also modernize our own education system to also be able to make access to some of the services which are essential, especially in uh, crisis situations. Today we have nearly 89 million people who are being displaced, nearly 27 million refugees. And actually I'm saying this is just the tip of the iceberg of the crisis. In the world there are 284 million drug users and including in the, in the country like India, which we didn't, I was always hoping that we would never have such so many number of drug users. Are we well equipped to deal with this new crisis? Is a question that we have to ask ourselves. But as uh, Anita ji said, you also need to look at a community development process. If you do not look at a bottom-up process, you will possibly fail in the best of the policies. And as was said, you require social action and social movement too. I will stop here just to say that uh, I want to have a sense of gratitude to our professors, to the Department of Social Work, Delhi School of De uh, and Social Work, and to all those who contributed to shaping us. But I also hope that we ourselves, as the alumni of this institution, will support others to also take their visions forward and their dreams forward. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your experience and the importance of two-day fieldwork and how it, is, it works as a bridge between theory and practice and research and also highlighting the social work as a profession and the never say attitude, never uh, uh, say no attitude help us bring the social change. Moving ahead, allow us to introduce our next guest of honor, Mr. Kalyan Paul, Executive Director Pan Himalayan Grassroots De Development Foundation. Mr. Paul is a noted alum alumni uh, from our Delhi School of Social Work from the batch of 1979. At the very onset of his career, he was directly involved with community development programs since 1980 when he joined the National Dairy Development Board at Anand for processing and marketing of milk in operational flood. In 1992, he co-founded Pan Himalayan Grassroots Development Foundation, a voluntary organization for holistic river basin restoration through active engagement of communities in the Indian Himalayan region. Currently, Mr. Paul is president of Participatory Guarantee System Organic Council, which is a pan-India organization responsible for promoting traditional farming system and adoption of value chain to enable small farmer groups to enhance on-farm incomes. Mr. Paul is also engaged with the Mountain Partnership Secretariat at the Food Agriculture Organization of the UN at Rome to create a marketing platform for producer groups from the mountain of the world. S sir, I request you to grace the gathering with your kind words. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, all friends, and Pamela and everybody else who took the trouble to call us over here. I'm really touched to be here because I got involved with Delhi School of Social Work as a student, as you all know, in 1978. 
and it changed my life. I'll tell you in the next couple of minutes. But firstly, I mean, I didn't know that YWCA was uh, involved with setting up the Delhi School of Social Work. So that's something really, really fantastic. And I'm also glad, I mean, there's so many things I learned now in the last hour or more. But one thing which I really felt good hearing is that the tradition of the gardeners, the Malis, from even in our time, we had the best set of flower pots in the Delhi University campus. And even this year, you say that Delhi School of Social Work, Mali, and his team or her team, they won the prize again. So I'm really, really glad that some things still continue in a nice, nice way. And uh, okay, when we joined in 78, I mean, the school was much simpler than today. I believe now you have almost 200 students. We had about 70, I think, in two years. We had 35, 40 in each batch, and uh, we had two small little hostels. The main focus was that little beautiful lawn with one lovely tree. I spent most of my time under that tree, I remember. And, uh, and uh, anyway, and see, I came from a kind of a bourgeois family in Calcutta with lots of wealth, and, but I had this drive to do something for poor people, and I didn't know how to do that. And uh, I met Professor Anade in his office one day, and he sort of explained to me that maybe it's a good idea to join the college because you have two full days of uh, community practice, and uh, you're free to do more than that, even in your free time. And what really drew me to the college was because our classes used to finish by afternoon, and there was two full days of field work. And if there are any students of Delhi School of Social Work here, maybe some of the back benchers could be students, I guess. And uh, so that was the best part of the school, actually, to uh, do those two full days of field work and uh, go to Jangir Puri, go to some other, I think I went to another community, Nehru Kutia, and uh, that's where I really broke into a, started growing as an adult in India, that uh, how to meet people who are, you know, who are resourceless almost, and uh, what is community development all about from their perspective, and how we people from an educated sort of background could uh, bring it all together to the best of our ability. And so in very short, what happened was during that time, we were very, very lucky. India had much less competition amongst you know, universities and students. As I said, we had only 70 students in two years. Now you have 200. So we were blessed with, we, we came to know a whole lot of stalwarts of that era. Dr. Kurian, Anita has already talked about. You know, I still have his picture on my study table, you know, because he's, continues to be our guru. Then uh, Ms. Amrita Patel, Dr. Devaki Jain, L.C. Jain, and a whole lot of people, and amongst our contemporaries almost, was Bunker. And uh, I remember the day when Bunker visited Delhi School of Social Work. And uh, why I'm mentioning this is because out of all the academia and the professors and the teachers, it's these people from the real world who made a lot of difference in my life at least, in terms of you know, providing inspiration and motivation. And now that, now that so many years have gone by, 75 years have gone by, and uh, you have a whole clutch of uh, Delhi School of Social Work uh, uh, alumni, you know, people who uh, studied over there. And if we can get hold of a whole resource pool of such people and, uh, and make them visit the college more and more often, and uh, that could inspire the students, and I'm saying this uh, with the sense that, you know, when I joined uh, social work, you know, I knew about social work from my grandfather in Calcutta, you know, who was funding the freedom struggle and all that. They named the street after him because of that. And then my father followed that legacy. And social work for him meant India became free, and so something more had to be done. So he would set up, you know, maybe parks and swimming clubs for the, you know, underprivileged people and put street lights and... You know, social work meant that Daridra Bhandar Kholdeo, you know, provide blankets during winter season, and all these kind of, basically, it was charitable work, you know. There was nothing sustainable about uh, viewing social work. In our times, what happened, what has changed in three generations in my life is that social work has become a profession, 
and the people who we deal with, the clientele, the stakeholders, they all want uh, their very, very high aspiration levels. And therefore, I'm going to spend two minutes in telling you about what we learned in 40 years of practicing social work and what was lacking in our education when we were in school of social work is that, you know, everybody wants to improve the quality of their lives, the community. Now, to improve the quality of their lives, you need water, you need sanitation, you need forests to support agriculture. You need a whole range of, you know, physical aspects to better the quality of your life. So how do you do that if you want to improve say, drinking water provision for poor communities in rural India, or renewable energy for cooking instead of bringing firewood on their head. So you need a whole range of appropriate technologies. Now, all these appropriate technologies have been innovated and practiced for two decades, for three decades, and I really don't know how much of all that is, the, is, is part of the case studies in schools of social work. And if we do not have that, is very, very easy, as Anita was saying, in, in the digital world, that you can get a lot of practitioners to write about their experiences and, uh, and push it into your library. Why I'm saying the library is very important, because in our times, out of all the professors and all the academic people we dealt with, from Rana De Saab to everybody who inspired us, but one man who really got me going was our librarian, Kumedan Saab. <laughs> And uh, Kumedan Saab, in those days, okay, look, the reference library, he used to call it, and the journals we used to have there, from the schools of social work from all over the world, from New York, from everywhere. And he was a man of books. All his, his table was full of books all the time, and he was writing all the time. And he, of course, had few laddus with him, besan ka laddu, because he suffered from diabetes, so from time to time, he had to pop in some of those laddus. And he gave a free hand to Anita and me, his typewriter. I don't know if these students even know there was something called a cyclostyling machine. And uh, so we would cut a magazine sitting in his room in the evening. He would give us his chabi and uh, make 100 copies. Next morning, go to the canteen, which was run by that famous Sardarji. And we called it Driftwood, that magazine, you know. And it was just to start a debate every month amongst our students. And uh, we priced it at one rupee. We never sold 100 copies, but we got about 40 rupees, I remember. And we used, to, we used to have a big party after that every month. That was a way of not only starting a debate, but also to get some money to have a party. And 40 rupees, let me tell you, <laughs> was a lot of money those days. Was a lot of money those days. And, uh, so as far as uh, community development, Anita has already spoken about it. I want to bore you. It's already 5 o'clock now. But just one last point is that, you know, in 40 years what we've seen is that it has to be a holistic program because man doesn't live by bread alone. So, so you have to learn, you have to build that ability while you're in college instead of us trying to actually learn about it while we were walking the road. You know, and if you can learn about all that by visiting, you know, field where people are working, and uh, if the college can have collaborations with more and more field practitioners and provide all this kind of actual knowledge to the students, that will be an excellent thing for bringing up the, the standard of the students by the time they leave the doors of the university. And uh, there's a lot more to share. and. Uh, the age which Anita and me have reached now, you know, we are over 60 now, and maybe we'll do another five plus five, 10 more years of regular field work of, you know, 15, 16 hours a day. But very soon we feel like, you know, moving on to another aspect, and uh, that's to do with this School of Social Work. And what you mentioned, Pam, is that how can we collaborate now in uh, bringing forth more and more schools of social work? Because uh, you said, there were 80 million, 3 million social workers? Yeah, that's nothing. I mean, in a world of 8 billion people, you know, it's a minuscule amount. And if Delhi University, as you said, is a you know, university of such excellence, Delhi University ought to take the step 
to spread the concept of social work into other and 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 here we have her from Central Asia. We have the seven strands over there, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and all of that. And we have Mongolia. And uh, you'll be surprised that the current government has made sure we visited Mongolia on their invitation a couple of years ago. India is the largest donor in Mongolia. You know, is is much larger than even the World Bank. You know, and uh, the Mongolians they look up to uh, development aid from India in terms of not just money but in terms of technology and in terms of education. And uh, so that's a very interesting idea to promote the concept of social work in other countries. And uh, finally, thank you all very, very much to have me over here. Thank you, sir, for sharing your experiences with us and for highlighting how social work is a way of facilitating sustainable change. Uh, now, let us introduce our special guest for the evening, Ms. Chakuntala David, National President of the YWCA of India. Ma'am has been working with 90 local YWCAs in addressing issues related to women and children, working with Porsche, and also as an ex HR expert in many of her individual endeavors. She has also worked with international NGOs like the United Nations Development Program, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, the United Nations Children's Fund, and the Pale, helping to build teams for effective service delivery. She's a psychological counselor, a management consultor, consultant, a Fulbright scholar, and has a doctorate in counseling from Berkeley University, California. It is Thank an honor you, to Bacha. have you, ma'am. Thank you, Bacha. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Professor Pramila Singla, distinguished, very, very distinguished social workers, guests on the dais, my friends here, students, and alumni of this prestigious institute, Aap Sabko Mera Namaskar. Aaj din ki bahut bahut badhai, aur job conception hua tha 1855 mein wo uski birth hui 1948 mein aaj wo 75 saal ka ho gaya aaj wo 75 saal ka ho gaya aur abhi bahut se ishwar kare ki the many 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 more years to be added to this child who is in terms of institution at its mid-age and needs to improvise. So I, friends, I bring you greetings from the YWC of India. The invitation was received by us at the national office with great surprise. Uh, we've been trying to get in touch with you for a couple of months. And thank you, Dr. Bina Anthony. Thank you, Pramalaji for bringing us back in the fold. We are indeed privileged to be part of your setup. Many of you already know that the YWCA of India, previously known as the YWC of India, Burma and Ceylon, had started the, IWC, started the Delhi School of Social Work. A page in the history of the Delhi School of Social Work exists uh, at the Wikipedia and it mentions this. However, I. I would take just a few minutes. I know everybody is getting, it's been a long evening. Just a few moments I shall take. And walk you down memory lane. Where that I, YWCA started with the vision of two women in London in 1855. The first YWCA of India came into being in 1875 at Bombay. And at that time it was known again as the uh, YWC of India, Burma Ceylon. In fact, all our property papers, documents still are in the name of India, Burma Ceylon, and we struggle to get them in order in, uh, today. In 1896, the headquarters were in Calcutta. They moved to Lucknow, and in Lucknow, in 1946, a department was opened at the YWCA known as the Social Service Training Institute. That's the genesis of it in Lucknow. That's where it germinated. 
And I'm so happy that you have remembered your founding member, Miss Luke became the director and you have an award today. I was so pleased. And uh, is the recipient of this year here today in this gathering? Perhaps no. So, but I'm very happy that you continue to, uh, to recognize the contribution that she made. The YWCA School of Social Work in 1948 received five applications and it was officially opened on the 15th of August which is in line for next week, in 1946. It, it was the second institute after uh, Tata Institute of Social Work in this country, and it was on the donation of the Murray Club in Lucknow. Miss Luke arrived in India and became the director. At that time, there were two volunteers, Miss Tillerson and Miss Baig. And by the time Miss Luke arrived here, there were seven students, and four were expected more to join this um, place. Uh, it started in Anandgiri, YWCA in Uti. We still are there. You please visit Anandgiri, Uti. It's a beautiful place. By the time 1947 came, the school had 12 students. Then it became, as a social work community, it became too it's becoming too difficult in the sense that they wanted to institutionalize it. So took it to Hislop College, Nagpur. They didn't want it. Uh, Isabella Thoban College, Lucknow, uh, first Asian women's college was considered also. Ultimately, it was moved back to Delhi and we were part of your governing body at one point of time. Uh, and that proposal came in 1980, uh, 48, that we presented the formal proposal in your Delhi Council University meeting to say, would you like to take it up? And they took it up. So in 1948, a master's degree program with 30 students, and when you said my father was here, perhaps he was one of those 40 stu uh, students at that point of time. Um, 30, uh, 15 men and 15 uh, women, for a, a period of two years. The only partition that they had, and can you imagine the liberated society at that point of time, only a, a cardboard or a plywood partition in the hostel for two. And in uh, March 1949, it became an autonomous postgraduate institute of social work where it stands today. So that is the history uh, of this place. We continue to be on your governing body. And the YWCA, in terms of education, just not just think of education and intellectual information. The vision blended with vision, attitude, creativity, and life learning skills. And that was important. And we are glad to know that it is continuing with this vision. Things never happen by accident. It's always the result of committed people's high intention, sincere efforts, able directions, and skillful execution of those skills. Um, two women came. Today, we have a presence in this country in 89 cities of India, administering, doing work for hundreds and thousands of women. Sometimes it's difficult. But some of us who sit at the helm for a certain period of time as volunteers, we, I, I personally always think the decisions we make impact the lives of millions. And therefore, it is worth, uh, worth that journey. Um, we are very, very pleased to be here. We hope that you will continue to be in dialogue with us. To, we offer internships in anywhere. Um, we have our presence. We have a presence in 125 countries in the world. We are the largest NGO, uh, voluntary driven NGO in the world. So we bring you greetings from our world president on my own behalf and my country movement. Thank you very much. Ishwar, aapko bahut aashish de. Thank you.
fact, you know, I like to say that we are really privileged by your presence and we like to continue with our connect with you. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for running us through the history of y YWCA and the inception of DSSW. It feels great to, great to be a part of this uh, tradition of social workers. And we will surely join uh, your organization, ma'am. Uh, we are going through the block placements, ma'am. So, <laughs> now, we invite Professor Pamela Singla to facilitate the release of souvenirs. So I'll request everyone, you know, before they leave to please collect a souvenir for yourself. Thank you, ma'am. Now we request Professor Pamela Singla to facilitate the release of the placement brochure of Masters in Social Work Batch of 2022 containing the profile of 94 young and bright budding professionals. May we please have Dr. Veda Yamnam to join us on the dais for the release of the placement brochure. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Veda, ma'am. Now, we request Dr. Neeraj Seed, Mr. Yogesh Chandra, Ms. Ms. Anjana Anand, and Ms. Kumar Deepak, Mr. Kumar Deepak, to please release the Almanai newsletter, which is going to be a representative document highlighting all the exemplary work undertaken by our esteemed alumni in the world over. Thank you all the dignitaries.
Now for the wo most awaited moment of the annual day, uh, we move towards announcement of the awards. So could we please have Professor Behra and Professor Sanjay Bhatt on the dais? Over to you, sir. Should stand? Okay. Uh, so, good evening, everybody. So, this is a most awaited announcement. You know, the first award is, uh, uh, you know, Elimina Look Award, Mama Singh, who is she? So she is here. The award goes to Aksa Hafiz Ur Rahman. So please. Yeah. Now, I will invite the Nandi Sagarwal, who has to be conferred the Gyan Pandit Award. Gyan Pandit Award is being initiated by his wife, Avinas Pandit, who was the first batch alumni. And it is awarded to MA final student based on the performance of MA previous examination. So, Nandi Sagarwal, I will request Professor Sri Prakash Singh Ji to uh, confer the award. Nandis, you be here. You stand here, Nandis. Kalyanji was talking about B.S. Kumedan. B.S. Kumedan was the librarian of our library. You have heard about him. So the DSSW Society has instituted award, B.S. Kumedan Award, to a student who has best used the library resources. And this year, award goes to Subham Sekhar. On every annual day, 
we remember one of our faculty member, Sudhir E. Michigan. Those who have been uh, student of Sudhir Michigan, Sudhir was a very young, jub jubilant teacher, very loved by the student. We lost him in an accident, tragic accident in Uttarakhand. So the faculty has decided to initiate a gold medal in his memory, and Sudhir used to teach group work. So this award is given to the student who scored highest mark in social group work paper. And this year award goes to Ripika Ria. Another faculty who has recently retired, the alumni will enjoy her name, Professor Susma Batra. <laughs> Professor Susma Batra has instituted award in the memory of her father, L.D. Mehta Memorial Award, to a student for his teaching paper, Quantitative Research Methods. And this award goes to the Tarana Adhikari. जोरदार तालियां बजाइए भाई इन लोगों ने बड़ी मेहनत की है दोस्त हुए आर प्रायर टू 2000 एल्मनाई विल रिकॉल ए वेरी साइलेंट पर्सनालिटी बीसी जैन अवर सेक्शन ऑफिसर एंड बीसी जैन फैमिली हैज इंस्टिट्यूटेड अवार्ड बीसी जैन मेमोरियल अवार्ड फॉर ए स्टूडेंट हु सिक्योर highest mark in social welfare administration paper. And this year award goes to Akshita Bhatia. And one of our foreign student, Living Stone Delali Egbo. Is Living Stone here? Okay. I think Akshita will receive award on his behalf also. Huh? नहीं मिस्टर बीसी जैन प्रोड्यूसर वाज केसी अहुजा एंड केसी अहुजा वी लॉस्ट हिम इन द कोविड ही हैज इंस्टिट्यूटेड अवार्ड इन मेमोरी ऑफ हिज वाइफ जानकी देवी अहुजा मेमोरियल अवार्ड जानकी देवी वाज ए टीचर and is, he has initiated award for social justice and empowerment paper. And this award goes to Nandi Shagrawal. Eight years ago, we have instituted an award Phyllis Gore Medal. And Phyllis Gore was the wife of Professor M.S. Gore, who happened to be the Vice Chancellor of Mumbai University and also the Director of Delhi School of Social Work, the first Indian director. Uh, Phyllis Gore was also a social work, uh, professionally qualified social worker. So faculty has thought to initiate an award in her memory because for a short time she has worked as a field work supervisor also. And this award is being initiated by the faculty members to the all-round performance in academic and extracurricular activities. And this award goes again to Nandi Sagrawal.
we have four awards which are being conferred at the university convocation Srimati Kundar Dattar gold medal Maharshi Karve memorial prize both for the topper uh, student so this year this award goes to Srishti Bhattacharya but this award we do not confer here this goes for the university convocation Society for Development Action Gold Medal and National Institute of Personnel Management Award. All these four awards are, are given at the university convocation. But there is a, another beautiful example of loving the parents. Professor Batra has also instituted an award in memory of her mother, Divyan Puruskar. And this Divyan Puruskar is being given to a student who is called social work, uh, paper social work with the elderly because she used to teach paper on social work elderly and this award goes to Nanto Kozo Londwig Mavata Achha. so she has gone back to the country right Achha. there are some friends of uh, the student who will receive please go ahead Any friend? No, no, Rip? So he can receive. She is your friend. He is your friend. So you receive on his behalf. But in photo, tell that this award is not yours. Most of old alumni must be knowing the name Sankar H. Pathak. Professor Pathak came in 2010 as a chief guest for an annual day program. And after that, fans, friends, and students have initiated an award, Sankar H. Pathak Memorial Award, for a student who secured highest mark in the social policy paper. And this award goes to Nandi Shagrawal and Tarana Adhikari jointly. I am very happy to tell you that there is a gentleman, Mr. K. K. Gupta. Gupta sahab, aye hai kya? Mr. K. K. Gupta was the first volunteer of the NSS scheme. At that time, NSS scheme is being run by the Department of Social Work, Delhi School of Social Work. So one day he came in department and he was recalling and remembering everything and suddenly he, he looked at the annual report then he has a desire, can I institute an award in memory of my wife? He has instituted an award, Kusum Gupta Memorial Award, for the student who has received highest mark in field work in both years. So this award goes to Aksa Hafiz Ur Rahman. award <laughs> We have last two awards. The two years ago, Professor K.D. Gangrade family has instituted an award in the memory of Professor K.D. Gangrade. Fortunately, his son and daughter-in-law is here. May I invite you to join that? And this award is given to a student who received highest mark in social justice paper, the paper which was very dear to Professor Gangrade. 
Shri Prakash Ji, Professor Gangrade was our pro vice chancellor also. I am sure you must be knowing. And please. So we have uh, Mr. A.K. Gangrade and his wife. They have been instrumental in introducing this award. So it, the award goes to Nandish Agrawal. Isiliya mein ne Nandish ko bola tha yahi khade ro. Now keep it in your bag. Thank you so much, sir. A few years back, the department has a desire that we have too many awards for the students. There should be an award for employee. So every year we give an award, best employee of the year, awarded to an employee who performed excellent throughout the year. This year award goes to Mr. Pradeep Kumar, who is a computer project manager. Clapping and shouts tells that how much popular he is among the students. <laughs> While Pradeep will enjoy the, this award, he has got another award. He has got married this year. <laughs> so thank you, Professor Singh, and thank you, other guests, for giving this award and encouraging. Any one of you wish to institute an award, you can institute through Delhi School of Social Work Society. And you can contact me. Thank you very much. A big congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you, Professor Bhatt, Mr. Behra, and Dr. Buspanjali Jha, and award team. With this, we have come to the end of the first half of the program. We break for the high tea now and we will be back by 6 p.m. to commence the second half of the program. Yes, ma'am. Uh, which is cultural programs. Now, we may please request our very own professor and secretary department council, Dr. Meenu Anand, to deliver the vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. The completion of 76 years is undoubtedly a historic event in the life of any institution, especially for an educational department in a premier university. Platinum, we know, is the standard of exemplary purity and excellence, and therefore, it's an absolute honor and a lifetime opportunity for all of us to be together for our Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Department of Social Work since its inception in 1946, has not ever looked back and grown manifold by leaps and bounds year after year, decade after decade. On this proud and auspicious day for the Department of Social Work, we feel honored to have received the blessings from none other than our Honorable Director South Campus, Professor Sri Prakash Ji Singh, sir. sir being our role model, you have always encouraged us and motivated all of us. Today, we thank you with all our hearts, sir, for gracing this day, despite your extremely busy schedule, and for your inspiring words, which will remain with us forever. Thank you, sir, for making us feel so special and so privileged. I also humbly thank our Dean Academic Activities and Projects, Professor Ratna Baliji, for honoring us. Ma'am, your words have enthused each one of us, and we are indeed very grateful for gracing our Platinum Jubilee celebrations to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
On this momentous day, I would like to pay my deepest respect to our guests of honor who have taken the trouble of coming all the way and joining us despite their enormously pressing engagements. I thank our Madam Anita Paulji for giving us the honor of her august presence on this special day. I thank Ms. Ashita Mittalji for gracing this special event with her vibrant persona and words. I express immense gratitude to Sri Kalyan Paulji, sir, for his inspiring words, which have indeed touched the chords of our heart. Thank you so much for joining us and for your stimulating talk. On this special day, I would also like to thank our special guest, Madam Dr. Shakuntala Devidji, National President YWCA of India, for her motivating words. Madam, we feel so happy that you could join us on our 76th annual day, and these moments shall be ingrained within us forever, Madam. I also want to thank Ms. Kalpna Devidji, National Sec General Secretary, YWCE of India, and Ms. Dia Matthew, National Secretary, Administration and Programs, for sparing their valuable time and giving us the honor of their eminent presence. The association of our department with YWCA cannot be expressed in words, and you being there with us really, really means a lot. Thank you so much, madams. As we embark on our 76th anniversary celebrations, I now thank the person who is behind this Platinum Jubilee event. And yes, I'm talking about my head of the department, Professor Pamela Singla. <laughs> Visualizing this program has not been easy for us at all amidst a very hectic academic calendar. And for the first time in the history of our department, the program is also being streamed live on YouTube. It goes without saying, ma'am, that you are the strong pillar behind planning and execution of our Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Therefore, as Department Council Secretary, ma'am, I thank you for being our inspiration and for giving us all a memorable day, the memories of which we shall always cherish in our hearts. I also thank the student advisor, Mr. P.C. Behra, and also Mr. Abhishek Thakur, who has coordinated the program, gone an extra mile, worked across teams within the university, within the departments, to ensure smooth management and cohesion. I express my sincere thanks to all the annual day committee members who have tirelessly worked day in and day out, 24-7, to make this program successful and outstanding. I thank our department non-teaching staff who is our integral backbone and always run pillar to post. This day would not have been possible without the support and partnership from all of you. On the 76th anniversary, I also thank those who have retired and even moved on to another division of our university. I'm very grateful to the university administration, particularly the registrar, director South Campus, finance officer, his team, the computer center, our technical experts, conference center staff, and our vendors for extending so much support and cooperation during these very challenging times. I convey my warm felicitations to the alumni who are the biggest strength of our department and have always extended all possible support. I thank all of you for making us feel so special and reiterating our belief in ourselves as an institution. We are very, very proud of our alumni. Last but not the least, I thank our dear, lovely students and our research scholars. <laughs> Teaching and learning is a lifelong process that educators and learners tread together. You are the proud inheritors and flag bearers of our institution. The department and university exists because of you, and this 76th annual day would not have been possible without the painstaking efforts, innovative ideas, and tireless contributions from our students and research scholars. Thank you for making the DSSW family so happy and so proud with your deep sense of engagement and commitment. With these words, as Department Council Secretary, I once again express my deepest gratitude and earnest feelings to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. 
Now we break for the refreshments and invite our dignitaries to to move for refreshments. Kindly dignitaries use the first gate and the audience to use the back gate. Huh. We'll be back by six for the second part of the cultural program.
A very warm welcome for the second half of the program. May I request everyone to take their seats. Dear students, May I request Kashika and Shubham Soni? to take over a very warm welcome for the cultural evening. We know we are social workers and we get tired too. So I'm sure you are going to enjoy. Dil tham ke baithiye, bohat sare afsane, bohat sare kahaniya. <laughs> and in the midst of examination, dear friends, the examination is going to happen within six days. And here the students are there with the cultural program. So over to you, Shubham and Kashika. Everyone, please settle down. Yeah, okay. Namaskar, Swagatam, Su Swagatam, Abhinandam, Sashyakal. Vanakkam, Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Shri Ram, Assalamu Alaikum, Adab, Kencho, Kasakai, Kammagani, hello and welcome to one and all present here. I, Shubham, and my co-host, Miss Kashika, Kashika, will welcome you back for the culture evening. Hey, Kashika. Hey, Kashika. Tell me, don't you feel too lucky and privileged that we are part of this celebration? Yes, Shubham. It feels so amazing to be part of this event and that I got the opportunity to host the annual day come Platinum Jubilee celebration of our department, the Department of Social Work. And also, Kashika, this, is, this year is so special in itself, being the centenary year of Delhi University. Rangi <laughs> Yeah, this is start from Shubharam. Okay. Uh, you should. So, do it, do it, do it. It's okay, okay. Leave it, leave it. It's okay, it's okay. So, Shubham, now we do Shubharam and give us a chance to 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 give us a chance. Thank you so much for giving us a chance to give us a chance. Oh, Shubham, so then you hear something. मैं कवि हूँ क्या जो कविता सुनाऊं नहीं नहीं चार मैं कवि हूँ क्या जो कविता सुनाऊं मैं तो सिर्फ होस्ट हूँ जो उसे बुलाऊं 
so let's welcome with a huge round of applause the first performance of the day mr umanath mishra can we have a I huge round of applause, applause for him Hello everyone, uh, teachers, respected guests, uh, my seniors, and my fellow mates. Thank you, Kashika and Shubham. The first poem is, its sirshak hai Rahe, Raste. Kaun kahta hai ki bas gaya hai insaan? Kaun kahta hai कि बस गया है इंसान अब भी राहों से यारी जारी है वैसे तो हैं ठिकाने हम सभी के वैसे तो हैं ठिकाने हम सभी के लेकिन मंजिल का सफर अभी जारी है सब पा लिया इंसान होके सब पा लिया इंसान होके कहते हैं सब फिर भी इच्छाओं की गठरी अभी भारी है कौन कहता है कि बस गया है इंसान अब भी राहों से यारी जारी है शड़भर यहां तो अगले ही कहीं और चल दिए शड़भर यहां तो अगले ही कहीं और चल दिए पल भर की खुशियों को हम आंखों में भर लिए दूर से दिखते दूर से दिखते वो घने सुंदर वन जिनके लिए हमने अपने बगीचे छोड़ दिए जिनके लिए हमने अपने बगीचे छोड़ दिए यूं चलने का कारण केवल लालच नहीं है यूं चलने का कारण केवल लालच नहीं है इंसान है वो कोई पागल नहीं है कुछ चल रहे क्योंकि आंखों में सपने हैं कुछ चल रहे क्योंकि हालात दर्द है कुछ तो लक्ष्य तक पहुंचते हैं हर हाल में कुछ के तो जीवन में बस इन राहों का साथ जारी है कौन कहता है कि बस गया है इंसान अब भी राहों से यारी जारी है थैंक यू अगली कविता का शीर्षक जो है वो दृष्टि है यानी हमारा नजरिया चीजों को लेकर के दृष्टि इस तरह से है मैं अग्नि हूं क्या जो जलन देखूं मैं प्रपात हूं क्या जो जमी देखूं मैं अग्नि हूं क्या जो जलन देखूं मैं प्रपात हूं क्या जो जमी देखूं मैं समीर हूं क्या जो बदन चूमूं मैं मनुष्य वो जो ख्वाब देखूं मैं मनुष्य वो जो ख्वाब देखूं मैं जलधर हूं क्या जो पदम देखूं मैं मन हूं क्या मैं जलधर हूं क्या जो रंग देखूं मैं तड़ाग हूं क्या जो पदम देखूं मैं मन हूं क्या जो स्वाराम देखूं मैं नर हूं वो जो धर्मार्थ देखूं मैं दिन हूं क्या जो शाम देखूं मैं प्राण हूं क्या जो अंत देखूं मैं चांद हूं क्या जो भोर देखूं मैं हर ही हूं जो संसार देखूं मैं हर ही हूं जो संसार देखूं धन्यवाद वाह वॉट अ पोएम दृष्टि हाँ काशिका उमरनाथ ने अपनी कविता दृष्टि से मेरे संसार को देखने की दृष्टि ही बदल दी तो अब आगे बढ़े काशिका जी हाँ हाँ बढ़ते हैं पर पहले ये बताओ कुछ ढंग का कर सकते हो तुम अरे अरे क्यों नहीं ये सुनो हमारी मधुर वाणी <laughs> केसरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया <laughs> रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊ बस करो शुभम हमारे कान सह नहीं पाएंगे अब ओके ओके जैसा आप सभी ने देखा और सुना गाने की मेदा हम में तो नहीं पर जिसमें हैं उसे ही बुला लेते हैं सो लेट्स वेलकम विद ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज मिस मेधा द नाइट एंगल ऑफ आर बैच
गुड इवनिंग हेलो good evening everyone present here uh, so this is a very small attempt from my part uh, this is a very special song from the movie raincoat so please pardon my mistakes i'll just try piya to ra kaisa abhiman piya to ra kaisa abhiman सघन सवन लाए कदम बाहार मथुरा से डोली लाए चारों का सघन सावन लाए कदम बाहार मथुरा से डोली लाए चारो कहा नहीं आए नहीं आए के सरिया बाल हमार अंगना बरा सुन सा पिया तो कैसा भीमान बोल सखी काहे करी साजो सिंगार न पहन बब सना कांचन हार बोल सखी काहे करी साजो सिंगार न पहन बब सना कांचन हार खाली चंदन लगाओ अम्मा हमार चंदन गरल समान पिया तो पिया तो सघन सावन लाए कदम बाहार मथुरा से डोली लाए चारो कहा नहीं आए नहीं आए के सरिया पिया तो पिया तो कैसा भीमान कैसा भीमान थैंक यू ये मधुर शाम ये मधुर शाम और ये मधुर गीत वाव मेधा वॉट अ सोलफुल परफॉर्मेंस काशी का कब से हम पे सवाल उठाए जा रही हो तुम अपनी कुछ प्रतिभा दिखाओ पिचकारी जो तूने मुझे मारी तो बोले रे जमाना खराबी हो गई मेरे अंग राजा जो ओके okay, चलो माना कुछ चैलेंट है तुम में बट काशिका यू नो अबाउट आवर नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मर शी सेट द फायर ऑन स्टेज ओ ऐसा है क्या तो देरी किस बात की बुला लेते हैं आ नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मर मिस नंदिनी विद अ ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज पिया 
लोकतंत्र में अभिव्यक्ति की स्वतंत्रता के बहुत मायने हैं और जिन लोगों ने इसे बचाए रखने के लिए और जिन लोगों ने इसे बचाए रखने के लिए संघर्ष किया और कलम उठाया है उनको समर्पित है ये कविता तो इस रंगमंच पर स्वागत करते हैं मारुत नंदन का कैन वी हैव अज राउंड प्लॉज फॉर हिम शुक्रिया दोस्त यहाँ पर उपस्थित सभी सभासदों को मेरा नमस्कार प्रणाम थैंक यू मेरी कविता का शीर्षक है मेरी कविता तो कुछ कविता कुछ इस प्रकार है कि कुछ उलझे कुछ सुलझे कुछ सहमे कुछ धधकते कुछ लटके कुछ तनके खड़े चेहरे कुछ भरे कुछ खाली कुछ फूले कुछ पचके कुछ सिकुड़े कुछ फैले पड़े पेट के साथ विद्रोह में खड़ी भीड़ के हाथों में जो विरोध के काले झंडे हैं वो मेरी कविता है कुछ फटे कुछ कटे कुछ मैले कुछ साफ कुछ लंबे कुछ उटंग कपड़ों में लिपटे कुछ में पड़ी बीवाइयाँ कुछ में पड़े छाले कुछ ठीक कुछ खूनी कुछ ठिठके कुछ जुनूनी पैरों पर टिके विद्रोह में खड़ी भीड़ के हाथों में जो विरोध के काले झंडे हैं वो मेरी कविता है धन्यवाद क्या बात है मारुत आपकी कविता ने तो हमें जग जोड़ दिया है इससे मुझे कविता की दो लाइन याद आ रही है 
पेश करूंगा हो गई है पीर पर्वत सी पिघलनी चाहिए हो गई है पीर पर्वत सी पिघलनी चाहिए इस हिमालय से कोई गंगा निकलनी चाहिए इस हिमालय से कोई गंगा निकलनी चाहिए क्या बात है शुभम टैलेंट तो तुम्हें भी है मैं यू ही अंडर एस्टिमेट कर रही थी और नहीं तो क्या वेल मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मेंस As you know our country India with unity and diversity embraces a variety of culture traditions customs and languages people of diverse background live here but all are undoubtedly united by one sole feeling of being an indian and so are the students of our department belonging for diverse background united by one soul of being a social worker to jo agla performance hai उसमें गुजरात का गरबा भी है और असम का बिहू भी तमिलनाडु की वेशरी भी है और कश्मीर का केसर भी राजस्थान का जायका भी है और पंजाब की मिट्टी भी सो प्रेजेंटिंग बिफोर यू कलर्स ऑफ इंडिया ऑन स्टेज कैन वी हैव ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज फॉर देम
छठी मैया बरत दो हाथ छठी मैया बरत दो Okay, somebody's uh, bag and headphones are kept here. If anybody has lost it, you can collect it from here. 
So what a performance it was. With this glimpse of India through the lens of Department of Social Work, thodi energy pump up hui. So moving to the next performance, kuch arz kiya hai. Rekhte ke tumhi ustad nahi galib. Rekhte ke tumhi ustad nahi galib. कहते हैं अगले जमाने में कोई मीर भी था इसी के साथ मैं बुलाना चाहूंगी हमारे साथी संदीप को इन्होंने अपनी कलम से हम सब की जिंदगियों को कागज पर उकेरा है स्वागत है संदीप कैन वी हैव अ मोर ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ प्लॉज फॉर हिम धन्यवाद एक ही दिन में एक ही क्षण में एक ही घंटे में हम साथ हंसते भी हैं और उसी क्षण में हम अपने आसपास की परेशानियों को लेकर परेशान भी होते हैं मैंने कुछ आ, पिछले तीन चार पाँच साल में कुछ छोटी छोटी चीज़ें लिखी जो शायद सिर्फ मेरी जिंदगी का पार्ट नहीं हो हम सबकी जिंदगी का पार्ट है इस या उस तरीके से जो मैंने लिखा है हो सकता है कि वो पूरा आपसे जुड़ा हो कल नीना मैम से इस बारे में बात भी हुई थी हमारी से और हो सकता है कि इसकी कोई एक या दो पंक्ति आपसे जुड़ी हो तो प्लीज अगर मैं आप तक पहुंच पाऊं तो थोड़ा प्यार देना तो कुछ इस तरीके से लिखा कि तंगे ख्याली का वो वक्त तंगे ख्याली का वो वक्त एहसास कमतरी की गिरफ्त तंगे ख्याली का वो वक्त एहसास कमतरी की गिरफ्त जिस्म में घुसती निकलती सी रूह और जिंदगी से आती हुई मुर्दा बू जिस्म में घुसती निकलती सी रूह और जिंदगी से आती हुई मुर्दा बू घड़ी की सुई के साथ गुजरता हर लम्हा घड़ी की सुई के साथ गुजरता हर लम्हा अकेलेपन की भीड़ और भीड़ में तन्हा घड़ी की सुई के साथ गुजरता हर लम्हा अकेलेपन की भीड़ और भीड़ में तन्हा झासर होते तो शायद रिलेट भी करवा दे कि सर्द रातों में चलती वो गर्म हवा कॉन्ट्राडिक्शंस सर्द रातों में चलती वो गर्म हवा शीशी में भरी शराब और नाम हो दवा सर्द रातों में चलती वो गर्म हवा शीशी में भरी शराब और नाम हो दवा ना उम्मीदगी का झूला कश्मकश के पेड़ पर इसका नाम ही कश्मकश रखा था मैंने कि ना उम्मीदगी का झूला कश्मकश के पेड़ पर गिरते लड़खड़ाते से हम जिंदगी की मेड़ पर नाउमीदगी का झूला कश्मकश के पेड़ पर गिरते लड़खड़ाते से हम जिंदगी की मेड़ पर जो किस्सा था नया अब पुराना हो गया जो किस्सा था नया अब पुराना हो गया वक्त अब वक्त ना रहा जमाना हो गया जो किस्सा था नया अब पुराना हो गया वक्त अब वक्त ना रहा जमाना हो गया हाथ की नब्ज में धड़कती धड़कने परेशानी के उस दौर को याद कीजिए जब आप अपने सिराने को अपने सिर से लगा के और आप खुद अपनी धड़कने अपने हाथ में सुनाई देती थी हाथ की नब्ज में धड़कती धड़कने रात के दो बजे की वो बेचैनी वो तड़पने हाथ की नब्ज में धड़कती धड़कने रात के दो बजे की वो बेचैनी वो तड़पने ये अगली दो लाइन मेरे मेरे सबसे करीब हैं कि सीने में जमी हुई वो असहत सी सांसें सीने में जमी हुई वो असहत सी सांसें अपनों में कुछ अपनों की जो चल रही तलाशें सीनों सीने में जमी हुई कुछ असहत सी सांसें अपनों में कुछ अपनों की जो चल रही तलाशें जिंदगी और मौत आ बैठी एक ठिकाने में 
जिंदगी और मौत आ बैठी एक ठिकाने में कौन कितनी जरूरी है लगी है समझाने में आ, एक छोटी सी चार लाइन की और है कविता कि मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है सदियों को घड़ियों का गुलाम होते हुए देखा है मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है सदियों को घड़ियों का गुलाम होते हुए देखा है ताउम्र लिखते रहे जो उम्र भर के कसीदे ताउम्र लिखते रहे जो उम्र भर के कसीदे मैंने उन उम्रों को तमाम होते हुए देखा है मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है जिनकी खुशबू थी घर के हर कोने में शामिल जिनकी खुशबू थी घर के हर कोने में शामिल अपने ही घर में उन्हें मेहमान होते हुए देखा है मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है आखिरी है क्योंकि हम इग्नोरेंट हैं बाय चॉइस एज अ सोसाइटी तो हमारा जो शत्रुमर्ग एटीट्यूड है कल भी ऑब्वियसली इस बारे में बात कर रहे थे कि पड़ोस के घर में आग लगी है और हम बोल रहे हैं वाह क्या खूबसूरत फूल खिला है <laughs> क्योंकि हमारी नजर नहीं है या फिर हम कॉन्शियसली या अपनी मर्जी से हम इग्नोरेंट हैं एक सोसाइटी के रूप में कि तुम ढूंढते रहोगे फूलों की खूबसूरती तुम ढूंढते रहोगे फूलों में खूबसूरती मैंने इस शहर को शमशान होते हुए देखा है मैंने यहां बैठे बैठे पहर को शाम होते हुए देखा है जब एक इग्नोरेंट सोसाइटी के रूप में हम आगे बढ़ते हैं तो गाली भी याद आते हैं उनकी चार लाइन के साथ खत्म करूंगा क्योंकि वो एक पॉजिटिव क्रिटिक रहे हैं हम सब के लिए और उनका हमेशा से शायद ये मानना भी रहा कि इंडिविजुअली हो सकता है कि हम खुश हों इंसान के रूप में लेकिन हम एक दुखी समाज हैं एक समाज के रूप में हम दुखी हैं हमें इस चीज़ को एक्सेप्ट कर लेना चाहिए और वो जगजीत साहब की आवाज़ में था मैं यहाँ पर ये खूबसूरती है डी की यहाँ पर नॉन सिंगर्स गाते हैं नॉन डांसर्स डांस करते हैं ये 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 खूबसूरती है स्पेस की कि हम हम जोड़ते हैं एक दूसरे को हाथ पकड़ते हैं एक दूसरे का साथ आते हैं एक साथ और हम सबको बताते हैं कि एवरी एवरी वन कैन डू एनीथिंग टुगेदर ऑब्वियसली मैम सब पे कहा मैम उसने कि रेखते कि तुम ही उस्ताद नहीं गालिब अगले जमाने में कोई मीर भी था तो गालिब कहते कि हर एक बात पे कहते हो तुम कि तू क्या है हर एक बात पे कहते हो तुम कि तू क्या है हर एक बात पे कहते हो तुम कि तू क्या है तुम ही कहो ये अंदाजे गुफ्तु क्या है बात करने का कौन सा तरीका है ये तुम ही कहो ये अंदाजे गुफ्तु क्या है रगों में दौड़ते फिरने के हम नहीं कायल रगों में दौड़ते फिरने के हम नहीं कायल जब आख ही से न टपका तो फिर लहू क्या है जब आख ही से न टपका तो फिर लहू क्या है आखिरी दो लाइन है मैं निकल रहा हूं बहुत बोर हो गए <laughs> तो, अगली दो लाइन में 
जला है जिसम वहाँ दिल भी मेरी सांसें भूल गई <laughs> जला है जिसम वहाँ दिल भी जल गया होगा जला है जिसम वहाँ दिल भी जल गया होगा कुरे देते हो अब जो राख जुस्त जो क्या है हर एक बात पे कहते हो तुम के तू क्या है हर एक बात वाह संदीप या वाह क्या लेखन था क्या गायकी थी मजा आ गया तो शुभम देखा तुमने खाली हमारी क्लास में नहीं पूरे डिपार्टमेंट में बच्चे टैलेंट से भरपूर हैं बच्चे हमारे डिपार्टमेंट के रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स खाली रिसर्च ही नहीं करते हैं लेकिन जिंदगी को बहुत अच्छे से गुनगुनाना भी जानते हैं तो फिर तो फिर देखते हैं आगे एक शुभम की दरखास्त है दूसरे शुभम से कि वो स्टेज पे इस महफिल को संगीत में बनाए तो गिव अप फॉर शुभम प्लीज एवरीवन थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच सो एज स्टूडेंट एज कॉलर ये मेरा लास्ट एनुअल डे है नर्वस हूँ थोड़ा सा पैर भी शेक कर रहे हैं मेरे डैड मेरे साथ में हैं ही इज अ म्यूजिशियन सो ही इज अ म्यूजिशियन मॉम मेरी आज यहाँ पे हैं मेरा भाई यहाँ पे है एक बहुत अच्छा दोस्त साथ में है अरुण मैम लोग साथ में हैं डिपार्टमेंट साथ में हैं बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ उस डिपार्टमेंट के साथ मुझे शायद 10 साल होने जा रहे हैं और इस बार डिसाइड किया कि मैं अपने लिए आप लोगों के लिए सबके लिए परफॉर्म करूँगा सो वैसे
राजा तुझको पुकारे तेरी परछाइया रे कबीरा मान जा रे फकीरा यू न जा कैसा तू है निर्मोही कैसा हर जाए इसका एक पार्ट तुमने मिस कर दिया तो उसको मैं एक बार और रिपीट करना चाहता हूं <laughs> अच्छा चलता हूं दुआओं में याद रखना मेरे जिक्र का जुबा पे स्वाद रखना दिल के संदूकों में मेरे अच्छे काम रखना चिट्ठी तारों में भी मेरा तू सलाम रखना अंधेरा तेरा मैंने ले Performance by you, Shubhambia, and thank you so much, sir. Uh, we are blessed that you participated with us in this event. <laughs> and thank you, Nina, ma'am, for participating in this too. Ha, ya kri nahi tha. Main aata rahunga. तो शुभम तुम्हें पता है हमारे क्लास में बहुत लोग मोहब्बत के मारे हैं हाँ हाँ पता है काशी का मैं भी उनमें से एक हूं तो फिर इस बात पर अर्ज किया है इर्शाद इर्शाद ये इश्क नहीं आसान बस इतना समझ लीजिए ये इश्क नहीं आसान बस इतना समझ लीजिए एक आग का दरिया है और डूब के जाना है बुला लेता तुम ऐसे गए? या। 
वाह वाह काशिका पता है तुम्हें मोहब्बत की जुबान उर्दू है मोहब्बत की जुबान उर्दू है और एक शेर एक शायर ने कहा है सलीके से हवाओं में जो खुशबू गोल सकते हैं सलीके से हवाओं में जो खुशबू गोल सकते हैं अभी कुछ लोग बाकी है जो उर्दू बोल सकते हैं अभी कुछ लोग बाकी है जो उर्दू बोल सकते हैं तो अब मैं दावत देना चाहूंगी बैतबाजी के कलाकारों को तो स्वागत करते हैं मनिंद्र नदीम और वाजिद का शाम महफिल अब आपके हवाले कैन वी हैव अज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज फॉर देम शाम महफिल आपके हवाले बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया तो मनिंदर क्या लाए हो आज सबसे पहले मोहब्बत में आता है हिज्र ओके तो हिज्र पर शेर है कि तो सबसे पहला शेर है कि क्या कहा हिज्र गुजारा है क्या कहा हिज्र गुजारा है चलो बतलाओ एक लम्हे में कितने बरस होते हैं तो मनिंदर जैसे आपने हिजर की बात की तो मैं इसमें कहना चाहूंगा उठती ही लगी उठती ही नहीं निगाह किसी और की तरफ उठती ही नहीं निगाह किसी और की तरफ एक शख्स का दीदार हमें इतना पाबंद कर गया वाह 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 आप सब आप सब जिक्र हिजर की बात करते हैं तो मैं थोड़ा सा अलग कॉन्टेक्स में बात करता हूं मोहब्बत और इश्क के आ, तो इरशाद क्या है उसको किसी से मोहब्बत नहीं थी उसको किसी से मोहब्बत नहीं थी मगर गुलाब तोड़कर उसने दुनिया को शक में डाल दिया मगर मगर तुम्हारी मोहब्बत क्या उसको मालूम थी मगर क्या उसको तुम्हारी मोहब्बत मालूम थी या फिर तुम्हारा भी यही हाल था जो इस शेर से कह रहे हैं पत्ता पत्ता बूटा बूटा हाल हमारा जाने हैं पत्ता पत्ता बूटा बूटा हाल हमारा जाने हैं जाने न जाने गुली न जाने बाग तो सारा जाने हैं तो मनिंदर मैं आगे बढ़ता हूँ इसमें कहता हूँ वो जो शार तुमने सुना नहीं वो जो शार तुमने सुना नहीं मेरी उम्र भर का रियाज था वो जो शार तुमने सुना नहीं मेरी उम्र भर का रियाज था मेरे दर्द की थी वो दास्ता जिसे हंसी में तुम उड़ा गए पीछे वालों पीछे वालों और कहते हैं कि मोहब्बत में ना जिंदगी खराब हो जाती है कहते हैं कि मोहब्बत में जिंदगी खराब हो जाती है तो गालिब का शेर है कि आज थोड़ी बिगाड़ी है कल फिर संवार लेंगे जिंदगी ही तो है जो भी होगा संभाल लेंगे अर्ज क्या है तुझको मेरी नहीं तुझको मेरी नहीं उसकी बदवा लगेगी तुझको मेरी नहीं उसकी बदवा लगेगी कि तेरे बाद जिसके हिस्से में आएंगे हम कि तेरे बाद जिसके हिस्से में आएंगे हम तो इस शार पर मैं सभी का साथ चाहूंगा और सभी इस पर थोड़ा गौर से सुने अगर तुम कहो अगर तुम कहो तो सजा दू इस सूरज को तुम्हारी माथे पर बिंदी की तरह वाह सर कह रहे हैं कह दिया लेकिन इसके आगे एक ट्विस्ट है अगर तुम कहो तो सजा दू सूरज को तुम्हारे माथे पर बिंदी की तरह 
पर मैं जमाने में अंधेरे के खिलाफ हूँ वाह वाह बहुत अच्छे बहुत अच्छे नदी अब जो तारीफों का सिलसिला चला है तो मोहब्बत में अपनी माशूक का तारीफ करना बहुत जरूरी होता है अगर आपको नहीं आता तो फिर आपको मोहब्बत करना नहीं आता तो मोहब्बत में खुदा तो किसी को नहीं कह सकते आप मगर खुदा जैसा तो कह सकते हैं ना तो उसी पर शेर है कि खुदा के डर से तुमको खुदा तो कह नहीं सकते खुदा के डर से तुमको तो खुदा कह नहीं सकते मगर लुफ्ते खुदा कह रहे खुदा साने खुदा तुम हो मगर लुफ्ते खुदा कह रहे खुदा साने खुदा तुम हो और मोहब्बत में जो तारीफ ना करो तो झगड़ा भी हो जाता है और जब झगड़ा हो जाए तो फिर आपको मनाना आना चाहिए तो आपको मनाना आना चाहिए और जो नहीं आता तो फिर तो आप हारे हुए आशिक निकलेंगे तो मनाने के भी कुछ शेर हैं पीछे वाले आपके काम आ जाएगा अभी एग्जाम से नंबर भी चाहिए <laughs> तो लड़ने को जो दिल चाहे तो आंख लड़ाइए लड़ने को जो चा, दिल चाहे तो आंख लड़ाइए हो जंग भी अगर तो मजेदार हो पूछा जो उनसे कि चांद निकलता है किस तरह पूछा जो कि पूछा जो उनसे कि चांद निकलता है किस तरह जुल्फों को रुख पे डालकर झटका दिया कि तो मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा इसमें लास्ट में मैं सभी को इन्वॉल्व करना चाहूंगा ये है मुझे सुनिए प्लीज जो जा रहे हैं खड़े हैं बैठे हैं मुझे सुनिए नजरअंदाज ना कीजिए मुझे सुनिए नजरअंदाज ना कीजिए मेरे हालात से अच्छे हैं ख्यालात मेरे वंस मोर दुबर्र ओके वंस मोर मुझे सुनिए नजरअंदाज ना कीजिए मुझे सुनिए नजरअंदाज ना कीजिए मेरे हालात से अच्छे हैं ख्यालात मेरे अब मोहब्बत में दिल भी टूटा होगा तो गालिब का शेर है कि दिले नादा तुझे हुआ क्या है आखिर इस दर्द की दवा क्या है दिले नादा तुझे हुआ क्या है आखिर इस दर्द की दवा क्या है अब दूसरे शायर हैं उनका जवाब देते हैं और कहते हैं ऐसे बीमार की दवा क्या है जो बताता ही नहीं कि हुआ क्या है अब अब जो है ना बीमारी डायग्नोस हो गया है ठीक है तो उसका इलाज बता रहे हैं दूसरे शायर इलाज ये है इलाज ये है कि मजबूर कर दिया जाऊं वरना यूं तो किसी की सुनी नहीं मैंने और और जब एक एक समय आता है कि आप मूव ऑन करना चाहते हैं जिंदगी का हिस्सा है जब आप इस एटीट्यूड में आ जाते हैं कि तू नहीं तो कोई और सही कोई और नहीं कोई और सही कोई और नहीं कोई और सही क्या बात है तब तब आपको समझ में आता है कि आपको खुद से भी मोहब्बत करनी चाहिए जो जो बहुत जरूरी है तो मेरा आखिरी शेर है कि अपनी जिंदगी से प्यार न करते तो क्या करते अपनी जिंदगी से प्यार न करते तो क्या करते ये नियमत मिलती है एक बार ना करते तो क्या करते वो मोहब्बत का जुनून वो मोहब्बत का जुनून अभी मुझसे उतरा नहीं है वो उसके लिए एक शेर लिखा है चला आता है तेरा अक्स ख्यालों में मेरे चला आता है तेरा अक्स ख्यालों में मेरे 
तुझको ना सही तेरी रूह को मोहब्बत है मुझसे मैं लास्ट में कंक्लूड करता हूं हमने सोशल वर्क में काफी सोशल इश्यूज पढ़े हैं अलग अलग डायमेंशन पढ़े हैं सोसाइटी के जिसमें हमने सोशल जस्टिस पढ़ा है सोशल प्रिविलेज पढ़ा है तो उसमें मैं एक लास्ट में एक शार है जो आपके सामने कॉन्क्लूड करना चाहूंगा इस सेशन को वो है जिनके घर अमीरी के शजर लगते हैं जिनके घर अमीरी के शजर लगते हैं उनके हर ऐप जमाने को हुनर लगते हैं क्या बात क्या बात क्या बात क्या बात थैंक यू सो मच अभी वाजिद कुछ कहना चाहेंगे थोड़ा सा आसिफ सर कम आसिफ सर कम आसिफ सर आसिफ सर चलो आसिफ सर की जगह हम कुछ कह देते हैं आ, इस नजम की जो महबूबा है वो अमीर तरान वो अमीर तरान घराने की लड़की है वो जो हीरो है वो बिल्कुल मेरे तरह गरीब है तो गौर करिएगा सोशल इनक्वालिटी तुम अपनी चिट्ठियों में मीर के आसार लिखती हो तुम अपने चिट्ठियों में मीर के आसार लिखती है मोहब्बत के बिना है जिंदगी बेकार लिखती है तेरी खत तो इबारत है वफादारी की कस्मों से तेरी खत तो इबारत है वफादारी की कस्मों से जिन्हें मैं पढ़ते डरता हूँ वही हर बार लिखती है तू पैरकार लेला की है सीरी की पुजारण है मगर तू जिस पर बैठी हो सोने का सिन्हासन है तेरी तेरी पलकों के मस्कारे तेरे होठों की ये लाली ये तेरी रेशमी कपड़े ये तेरे कानों की बाली गलक गले का यह चमकता हार हाथों के तेरे एक अंगन ये सब के सब है मेरे दिल मेरे एहसास के दुश्मन वफा वफा का मोल क्या क्या है एतबार की कीमत सकस्ता कश्ती और टूटी हुई पतवार की कीमत मेरी जीत से बढ़कर तेरी हार की कीमत तू अपने फैसले पर बाद में पछताएगी जाना मेरे कंधे पर छोटे भाइयों की जिम्मे थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हेलो हाँ तुम्हारी शायरी को मैं अपनी दो लाइन से मैं अपनी नहीं लिखी इसकी दो लाइन से कंप्लीट करना चाहता हूं कि तुम्हें प्यार नहीं आता मुझे प्यार के कुछ नहीं आता जिंदगी जीने के दो ही तरीके हैं एक तुम्हें नहीं आता एक मुझे नहीं आता वाह वाह मजा आ गया आप सब ने इस महफिल में चार चांद लगा दिए काशी का हमारे दिमाग में एक और शेर आ रहा है अर्ज करें इशाद, इशाद। वो उर्दू का मुसाफिर है यही पहचान है उसकी वो उर्दू का मुसाफिर है यही पहचान है उसकी जिधर से भी गुजरता है सली के छोड़ जाता है जिधर से भी गुजरता है सली के छोड़ जाता है क्या बात है शुभम जैसे संदीप भैया ने कहा है कि इस मंच पर वो भी गाते हैं जो कभी नहीं गाए हैं तो हम भी कुछ पेश करना चाहेंगे अंजुम रहमान जी का एक नज्म है थोड़ा गौर फरमाइएगा सुध बुध नहीं है खुद की सुध बुध नहीं है घर की हर दिन बदल रही है कुर्ती नए कलर की बेरंग उड़नी भी रंगीन हो गई है एक सावली सी लड़की एक बावली सी लड़की वाह काशिका तो इसके साथ सीजे बुलाते हैं मिस गायत्री को अपना गीत गुनगुनाने वेलकम वेलकम हर विद अ ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ प्लॉस
good evening thank you <laughs> so it's my first performance in the ssw and uh, like we have been hearing to a lot of shair uh, shairi uh, with respect to love with respect to uh, like how society looks at love right so now we're going to listen to one of the very famous songs uh, in tamil nadu in the southern part uh, so where i got married to basically i'm don't come from there my attire shows i come from kerala me kerala se hu lekin i got married to uh, tamil nadu so i wanted to uh, sing this song here today about the journey of a girl in a romantic relationship so this is about a couple and us couple me like who is that girl what is that girl's journey is something that we are going to listen to maybe i don't know how many of you will understand but uh, but we in south india probably that is why we heard sudha raghunath sing anal mele pani tuli so that means anal is fire and uske upar pani tuli that is dew drop so what happens that is something which you can imagine so that is what has happened in that whole story line also so uh, let me see let me try <laughs> my best thank you and and it sorry anil mele pani tuli alai paayum murkili maram teedum malai tuli Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
song gayatri 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 uh, tell me if i am pronouncing it right if the title of your song was annal mille panni tulle <laughs> oh it will take me more lessons okay <laughs> yeah so हमने वी सॉ डेट हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इज द गायत्री सेंग द तमिल सॉन्ग टू टू मेंटेन दिस कंटिन्यूटी द डाइवर्सिटी वी एज आई विल नेक्स्ट इस इस डाइवर्सिटी में कंटिन्यूटी बनाने रहने के लिए नेक्स्ट में मतलब एक हमारे सह पार्टी है जो अपनी गजल पेश करेंगे तो मैं वेलकम करूंगा उदय का प्लीज एक बार तालियों के उनका स्वागत कर दे उदय जी का थैंक यू शुभम और सबसे पहले मैं यहाँ पे जो हमारी टीचर्स हैं उसको नमस्कार कहता हूँ और जब भी ज़िंदगी की बात आती है तो अपने अपने फील्ड में जो जो भी व्यक्ति महारत हासिल किए रहते हैं लेकिन वो भी जब ज़िंदगी की बात आती है तो वो इस ज़िंदगी के पहली को समझने में बहुत सारे मौक़ों पे नाकाम हो जाते हैं जो हमारे जो अभी जो मैं गज़ल पढ़ने जा रहा हूँ वो ज़िंदगी से ही ज़िंदगी पर ही आधारित है और इसमें बताया गया है कि कैसे अगर हम ज़िंदगी को सही नज़रिए से नहीं देखते हैं तो हम तो जो अगर सही नज़रिए से देखें तो जो तूफ़ान में अगर भी अगर कोई तूफ़ान में भी रहता है तो उसको किनारे की तरह किनारा बना लेता है और लेकिन अगर कोई ज़िंदगी को सही नज़रिए से ना देखे तो किनारे पे भी वो डूब जाते हैं तो जो हमारा अभी जो गज़ल मैं पढ़ने जा रहा हूँ वो अखगर मुश्ताक रहीमाबादी के द्वारा लिखा गया है और आप आप सबों का तवज्जो चाहता हूँ कि आप लोग इस पर तवज्जो दें और मैं पढ़ने जा रहा हूँ जीने के अगर चंद सहारे भी मिले हैं जीने के अगर चंद सहारे भी मिले हैं तो जान से जाने के इशारे भी मिले हैं यानी कि जिंदगी के साथ ही हमारे मरने का हर चंद रहे इश्क के गम शख्त है लेकिन हर चंद रहे इश्क के गम शख्त है लेकिन इस राह के कुछ गम हमें प्यारे भी मिले हैं कुछ अपनी वफाओं से जो उम्मीद थी हमको 
कुछ अपनी वफाओं से जो उम्मीद थी हमको कुछ उनकी निगाहों के सहारे भी मिले हैं ए राह रवे ए राह जुनू भूल न जाना ए राह रवे ए राह जुनू भूल न जाना इस राह में जी जान से हारे भी मिले हैं इस जाम तगाफुल हमें तस्लीम है लेकिन इस जाम तगाफुल हमें तस्लीम है लेकिन बदले हुए अंदाज तुम्हारे भी मिले हैं क्या कीजिए तदबीर से हारा नहीं जाता क्या कीजिए तदबीर से हारा नहीं जाता गोराह में तकदीर के मारे भी मिले हैं और आखिरी आखिरी लाइन है कि तूफान में सभी डूब तो जाते नहीं अखगर तूफान में सभी डूब तो जाते नहीं अखगर कुछ लोगों को तूफान में किनारे भी मिले हैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद वाह उदय जी वाह क्या समा बांधा मजा आ गया कुछ ऐसे ही पल जुड़े थे कलाकार के 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 साथ जिन्हें हमने हाल ही में खोया उन्हीं को ट्रिब्यूट देने आ रहे हैं नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मर इस इवनिंग के मिस्टर तेजस्विन तो प्लीज वेलकम है विद्यूज राउंड ऑफ लॉस उनके पास शायद नहीं है मैं यहाँ से गा दूंगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है गुड इवनिंग चलेगा चलेगा गुड इवनिंग जान बाकी है पक्का गुड रखना तो रिसेंटली वी लॉस्ट अ फिनल वॉइस के के साहब के तौर पे एंड कहीं ना कहीं हम सबकी कोई ना कोई मेमोरी जुड़ी है उस आवाज से तो कोशिश करूंगा उनका एक गाना गाने की सारी की सारी गुस्ताखियां मैं पहले ही बोल रहा हूँ गलतियां सारी मेरी एंड वट एवर गुड बिलोंग्स टू हिम तो सुनने की कोशिश कीजिएगा इतनी सी इल्तजा है आप लोगों से द सॉन्ग इज सॉन्ग फ्रॉम अ मूवी कॉल झंकार बीट्स एंड इट्स कॉल टू आ शकी है तू है आसमां में तेरी ये जमी है तू जो है तो सब कुछ है ना कोई कमी है तू है आसमां में तेरी ये जमी है तू जो है तो सब कुछ है ना कोई कमी है तू ही दिल है तू ही जा भी है तू खुशी है आसरा भी है तेरी चाहत जिंदगी है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू ही दिल है तू ही जा भी है तू खुशी है आसरा भी है तेरी चाहत जिंदगी है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है आप लोग साथ में गा सकते हो वैसे कोई कंपल्शन नहीं कि सिर्फ मुझे ही गाना है प्यार में ही ढूंढता हूँ प्यार से ही पूजता हूँ तुझे प्यार में ही ढूंढते हैं 
प्यार से ही पूजते हैं तुझे तेरा चेहरा रोशनी है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू है आसमां में तेरी ये जमी है तू जो है तो सब कुछ है ना कोई कमी है तू ही दिल है तू ही जा भी है तू खुशी है आसरा भी है तेरी चाहत जिंदगी है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है सॉरी थोड़ा लंबा इंटरल्यूड है यहाँ दो मिनट लगेंगे हर सफर में हर नजर में हर शहर में देखता हूँ तुझे हर सफर में हर नजर में हर शहर में देखते हैं तुझे प्यार है जो तू वही है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू है आसमां में तेरी ये जमी है तू जो है तो सब कुछ है ना कोई कमी है तू ही दिल है तू ही जा भी है तू खुशी है आसरा भी है तेरी चाहत जिंदगी है तू मोहब्बत तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है तू तू आशिकी रोशनी जिंद तू आश तू आशिकी रोशनी जिंद तू आश तू आशिकी रोशनी जिंद तू आश तू आशिकी रोशनी जिंद तू आशिकी है तू आशिकी है के के साहब दिस वॉज फॉर यू थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ ग्रेट इवनिंग Wow, Tejas is there. That was a great performance. And stars like KK, they never die. They they will remain alive for generations and generations to come. Now next, I will. Now next, I will ask the alumni. Any of the alumni request them if any alumni want to perform anything, any poem, anything they want to share. Sir requested, ma'am. Any alumni, please, if you want to perform anything. So, as we saw, <laughs> none of the alumni are interested <laughs> to show us the performance. So, basically, if we recall, okay, okay, I would like to welcome Nina, ma'am. No, she want to perform something. Please, please welcome Nina with a huge round of applause. Please, please welcome.
थैंक्स थैंक्स बट आई एम इन हाउस दादा आई एम इन हाउस आई हैव समबडी हु वॉज रिक्वेस्टिंग जस्ट नाउ तुमने कहा कि ऑलरेडी वी हैव एक्सीडेड टाइम कैन आई हैव यू येस प्लीज सो आई आई एल गिव दैट टाइम टू हिम इट डजेंट लुक गुड दैट आई एम हेयर एंड आई एम टेकिंग टाइम नाउ दैट यू हैव अनाउंसड एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सीडेड टाइम ऑफ दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस हॉल सो आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट बट दे हैव Uh, they they want me to perform i am in house dear i am always there so over to you yes. uh thank you ma'am thank you so much uh sabha mein baithe sabhi srota gan ko main dhanyawad karta hu aur apni kavita uh yahan par baithe yuvaon ke halaton jazbaton aur irado ke upar hai main ek uh, social worker hu lekin kavita sabke halaton jazbaton aur irado ke upar hai isliye ki bahut sundar kavita hai kavita is prakar hai मुट्ठी में कुछ सपने लेकर भरकर जेबों में आसाएं मुट्ठी में कुछ सपने लेकर भरकर जेबों में आसाएं मन में है विश्वास यही कुछ कर जाएं कुछ कर जाएं सूरज सा तेज नहीं मुझ में सूरज सा तेज नहीं मुझ में दीपक सा जलता देखोगे अपनी हद रोशन करने को हालातों से कह रहा है अपनी हद रोशन करने को तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे अब आपके लिए चार लाइन की पंक्ति और कहता हूं तुम उस माटी के वृक्ष नहीं जिसको नदियों ने सींचा है बंजर भूमि में पलकर तूने मृत्यु से जीवन खींचा है सभी के हालातों के ऊपर है तुम उस माटी के वृक्ष नहीं जिसको नदियों ने सींचा है बंजर भूमि में पलकर तूने मृत्यु से जीवन खींचा है पत्थर पर लिखी इबादत है तू शीशे से कब तक तोड़ेंगे मिटने वाला तेरा नाम नहीं है तुझको कब तक रोकेंगे तुझको कब तक रोकेंगे लास्ट चार लाइन है झुक झुक कर खरा झुक झुक कर सीधा खरा हुआ अब 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 झुकने का शौख नहीं झुक झुक कर सीधा खरा हुआ अब झुकने का शौक नहीं खुद के हाथों रचा स्वयं को हालातों से मिटने का खौफ नहीं हालातों से मिटने का खौफ नहीं दो लाइन और हालातों को कहते हैं तुम जब जब भी मुझको हालातों की भट्टी में तुम जब जब मुझको फेंकोगे तब तब कर सोना बनूंगा मैं तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे धन्यवाद मैम धन्यवाद आप नहीं आते तो बहुत कुछ छूट जाता मैंने मुझे इस बात का एहसास हुआ नाउ दैट आई एम हियर एंड यू वांटेड यू वांटेड मी टू परफॉर्म वी कम फ्रॉम सोशल वर्क डिपार्टमेंट सो आई गिव थ्री फोर लाइन एंड ट्रिब्यूट टू बशीर भद्र साहब इजाजत है <laughs> दादा आप चाहते थे तो मैं आ ही गई यू ही बे सब न फिरा करो किसी शाम घर भी रहा करो इट्स फॉर सोशल वर्क राइट बहुत मोहब्बत की बात हुई ये दिल्ली है यारो हाँ बहुत मोहब्बत की बात हुई बहुत पढ़ने की बात हुई बहुत डाइवर्सिटी uh, की बात हुई पर वशीर कहते हैं यू ही बे सब न फिरा करो किसी शाम घर भी रहा करो ये गजल की सच्ची किताब है पैमला मैम ये <laughs> ये गजल की सच्ची किताब है इसे चुप के चुप के पढ़ा करो कोई हाथ तक न मिलाएगा जो गले मिलोगे तपाक से कोई हाथ तक न मिलाएगा जो गले मिलोगे तपाक से ये नई मिजाज का शहर है जरा फासले से मिला करो वॉर्ड ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस दीना मैम
amazing amazing so now let's recall what we have done in the culture part poem ho gayi ghazal ho gayi geet ho gaye shayari ho gayi aur neena ma'am ka performance bhi ho gaya par kuch kami si lag rahi hai par kuch kami si lag rahi hai so here we come for the last moment of the evening the group dance but before that one thing i will say for this performance enjoy enjoy and enjoy Hasina Zul. आगे आ जाइए क्लास नहीं है गाइज यू कैन कम एंड डांस ऑन द साइड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओ हसीना जुल्फो वाले जाने जहां ढूंढती है काफिर आंखें किसका निशान ओ हसीना जुल्फो वाले जाने जहां ढूंढती है काफिर आंखें किसका निशान मै फिल मै फिल ऐ क्षमा फिरती हो कहा मै फिल मै फिल ऐ क्षमा फिरती हो कहा वो अनजाना के पान बना रस वाला खुल जाए बंद अकल का ताला वो खई के पान बना रस वाला खुल जाए बंद अकल का ताला फिर तो ऐसा कर धमाल सीधी कर दे सबकी चाल वो छोरा गंगा किनारे वाला वो छोरा गंगा किनारे वाला
प्रोटोकॉल कल्चरल का भी वोट ऑफ थैंक्स होता है मे आई रिक्वेस्ट स्टूडेंट एडवाइजर मिस्टर प्रताप बेहरा जी टू गिव वोट ऑफ थैंक्स थैंक यू मैम सर वन मिनट सर सर वन मिनट आई नीड वन मिनट इन द एंड थैंक यू एवरी वन for being here for the part yeah yeah one 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 minute next what man what next i just i just i want to say this and ha you see and then pratap ji will give vote okay 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 thank you everyone for being part of this evening special thanks to our hod miss professor pamela singla and all the faculty all the students and non academic staff everyone here pre present here has contributed in their own way so see you all till the next time this was your host shom soni and good night shobha khair next the pra student advisor pratap sir will give the vote of thanks thanks yeah thank you may i request before that may i request all the student volunteers to just keep a note that the hall remains as we came here right so all the litters i hear make sure that things the hall is clean before we leave dear students student volunteers please listen to me carefully okay over to you thank you so once again good evening i believe the cultural season just has begun with this event and uh, this is the first of its kind after this offline mode so 
I hope this momentum would continue. It will never stop, but we have to end right now as a pause. Not, it's not going to end. It's just a pause, I would say. So, you know, this, is, uh, this event is uh, with much preparation. The outcome that you see is not momentary. It is with much preparation. So several people, several hands, several minds worked on it. So I just do not want to name so many committees, so many members by their name, by their committee. But in a collective form, I would say, all the committee members, it starts with our head of the department, till the student volunteers and <laughs> teaching and non-teaching staff. Everybody, everybody in so many ways, directly, indirectly, passively, actively contributed. Contributed a lot from mind, from, uh, from, with their hands, with their mind and body in so many ways. And so many people also contributed resources, directly, indirectly. So, I just would like to extend on behalf of the department a formal vote of thanks to each and everybody who contributed, who performed, who enjoyed and who clapped. So, thank you again. Have a nice evening. And, and best wishes for, the, for your forthcoming exams. Best wishes, all the best. Krapaya, dhyan de, kisi ke do metro card rahe gaye hain. Collect kar le. Hello, I request all of you please come in front of the gate, uh, the, uh, Dias, for the photo session. Please, please, sab log aa jaiye. Ek photo session hoga. DSSW ka group photo. Jo bhi alumni hai, hamare student hai. Sab please, please aa jaiye. <laughs>